Well, there we go. It took me a minute to find where out the uh, where the um, YouTube player was. I've got a lot of screens going on here. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hello, Liam. How are you? Uh, I'm a lot better than I was last week. I'll tell you that. Hmm. Um. But uh, you'd been kind of sick, right? I had been kind of sick, and I'd been kind of sick for a long time. I was sick for like a whole week, and it was gross and annoying. Um, and uh, fortunately, I'm feeling much better now. Uh, but we do have a little bit of sniffling going on in your department, huh? Yeah, regrettably. I seem to have grabbed something over the weekend. Thankfully, not C word that I'm not going to say live on Twitch, but um, pretty good other than that. Good. <clears throat> good, good, good. Um, and uh, Steve, you're here with us, aren't you? I'm here. And uh, you're a little bit, little bit tired too, huh? Nope, I got my nap. You got your nap? All right, cool. Good. Well, uh, we're not going to be doing Fire Emblem today. Um, uh, the voice is going to be a little bit too much for us. Um, even though I'm back on my feet, I, uh, I I did have strep throat, and I want to give my, my voice a little bit of a break. Uh, and Sean's feeling a little bit under the weather, too. So instead of that, we're going to bring our energy to doing some goofy tier lists. We're just going to kind of keep things uh, light and fun. Um, oh, Liam, I love you know I love me a tier list. I know you do. It's time for learning with Liam. I mean, I am a teacher, kind of. <laughs> kind of. What a good name for that ser- for the series of tier lists. What? I said, what a good name for the series of tier lists. Learning, learning with, with Liam. Liam. Yeah, we're going to learn uh, about our opinions about things today. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I need a... I, I was like, oh yeah, I'll do the, the, the Mirror B music for the opening because it's funny. But now I realize we probably need like a... Like like a background music for like the whole thing. Oh yeah, probably yeah. Probably, and I don't, I didn't get that. So <laughs> like a like what. a chill Pokemon Lo-Fi playlist or something. I can do just play like Spanish that. Flea on repeat. Yeah, that's fun too. Seven. What's new, Pussy Cats? Followed by one. <laughs> it's not unusual. Followed by one more. What's new, Pussy Cat? Yes. All right, we'll do this. We will get demonetized. Now, last time, I think we are, um... Will and could are two very different things, Sean and on. It's true. I think last time the music was, like, a little bit too loud. I have a habit of doing that, of making the music, like, a little bit a little bit loud, and then we're kind of drowned out by that. So, those of you who are listening, let me know, uh, let me know how this sounds. I've, I've tried to make it, like, a little bit quieter this time. And maybe I need to speak up, too, or maybe I need to move the the mic a little bit closer to me so it can pick up my voice a little bit better um that being said let's uh let's switch on over hi good uh good evening everybody so um i hate this what uh what tier list are we doing today sean early uh, starting condiments with. Co- condiments yep <laughs> that's the game uh it's going to be uh stuff that you put on top of food um, and, uh, there's a, there's a variety, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a broad topic. One, what one might consider a condiment, but this is where we're going to start. And then, um, we are going to do, uh, and then we're going to do cookies as well. <clears throat> well then, this is going to get really sc- screwy really fast says, uh, I have a grievance with this list. Want to? <laughs> nice to meet you. First time chatter. Hi, how are you? What's your grievance, Steve Stevens? No, you have McDonald's sweet and sour sauce, but you have no Taco Bell hot sauce on here. There's other kinds of hot sauce. They might not have wanted to double or triple up. I don't know. I didn't make this tier list. I just I just found you, it. You need to add it. Taco Bell hot sauce. Mike says, weird that one would call mayonnaise a condiment. Poison is a better word. I know somebody who, agree with, who might agree with you. There might be somebody who might agree with you. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's give it a go, huh? All right, so the first thing I want to do is, like, fix this, because mm. nothing's worse than a tier list with 18 tiers, and we don't, well, it's, it's like we, we get into the weeds about where something goes. So let's, let's fix this. We don't need, like, half of these. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of a bunch of these. We need, like, five, probably. All right, and then we'll do, um, and then we'll fix the colors too, because I always. Uh, there we go. 
All right. S A B S S Sass? I just ass. Oh. C and F. And then this will be red. And then that makes a lot more sense to me. Right? I think that's pretty good. Um, should we name them something a little more interesting than this? Um, Steve is crunching. I am. I love that. Um, <clears throat> hmm. All right. How about put it on everything? Okay. How dare you, Dan? <laughs> um, a tier. What do we call A tier? What are the better the better condiments? Um, staple at the table. Yeah, table staple. Table staple. Staple staple. Staple stable. Cool. First, first, first opening of Mono God Series. All right. I shut up. Stop it. <laughs> table staple. B is gonna be uh, keep some around the house, around the kitchen. <clears throat> I'm aware he could not eat with his mouth closed. I'm very familiar is, with the individual we were referencing, okay? Is is C uh, better than a dry sandwich? Yep. <laughs> better than dry. And then F tier is, is going to be... Um, uh, pour it in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Where's what we'll go with. On this Fuck, that's so funny. Okay. That's what we'll go with. All right. So <clears throat> um, some of these I've definitely never had. Um, and I'm going to rely on you guys whose palate is a bit more um, uh, three-dimensional than mine. Um, cause I, I eat like I'm 12 years old where everything should have sugar or be fried. Um, uh, so let's, uh, so let's figure it out and also help me figure out what these even are. Cause this is Ken something, but I don't know what it is. That's, um, probably balsamic. Vinegar. No, no. Balsamic is brown. That's probably just mm. Caesar dressing or some shit like that. Uh, no, it's honey mustard dressing. That's honey mustard dressing. Is Where's it? just regular honey mustard? That's the same thing. Mm. I guess honey mustard dressing is slightly thinner, but it's the same thing. Uh, that's a bit of a weird place for chat to be, but I'll do. Could it be Thousand Island dressing? It could be Thousand Island dressing. I can't see, Liam. You can look at your screen closer I, than I can. It's it's small. It's small. Even on my screen, it's small. I have no you idea. You have technology, SpongeBob. Zoom in. I, I can't. Well, actually, hold Computer on. Computer enhanced. Can I can I do that? Can I zoom in here? Oh, I can. All right. Uh, it's this. Oh, it is Thousand Island. Okay, cool. So we can actually we can actually zoom in and see these a little bit. All right. We just get to see the middle the middle of like everything. There's no. No, it's fine. I'll fix pretty, it. Okay. Uh, Thousand Island. I've experience. not had Thousand Island dressing. You normally have that on like um. A Big Mac. What like salad? Are you, do, do, yeah. do you put the number? I don't know. I have no idea. The, the, the Big Mac is has Thousand Island dressing on it, or what is effectively Thousand Island dressing. Okay. I've um, never had a Big Mac. You you can have it with, like, salad. It's like a salad dressing, too. Um, Thousand Island was my go-to for a really big part of, like, my middle childhood, where I was like, mm. ooh, salad is good sometimes if you drown it in dressing, actually. Yeah, you're way ahead of me on that. I don't know. So, um... Oops. I like Thousand Island dressing. It's a, it's maybe not a table staple anymore. It's a different point in my life, perhaps. Keep some around. All right. What do you think, Steve? Honestly, I haven't had enough to put my finger on this one. All right. Then we'll go with Sean's intuition. We'll, we'll keep some around. Um, Excellent. What does it taste like? Like, what is it even? It's like a... Tangy. It's kind of tangy. It's like a... It's like a salty, little, tiny bit sweet, like, um, kind of ranch adjacent. Like, you could ch uh, dunk a chicken finger in it, and it would be totally acceptable. All right. You ever have Chick-fil-A sauce? That's pretty much the same thing. All right. It is Fair also enough. similar to Chick-fil-A sauce. 
Fair enough. French but tangy, says Lena. And uh, Dan says control plus scroll wheel. Ooh, that's convenient. All right, cool. We'll do that. All right, good. next up is A1 Steak Sauce. At least I'm pretty sure that's Steak Sauce. Enhance. It is original steak sauce. Um, I've had A1 Steak Sauce. Um, it's... So, this was my my dad's favorite thing to put on those uh, Scottish meat pies that we used to get that I really love. Yeah, this was my dad's go-to. For me, I would put... I would much rather put barbecue sauce on it. A1's not... It's, it's good, but it's not, like, my favorite, and it's, like... If we're putting sauce on meat, I'm I'm more likely to put on something a little bit, maybe a little bit sweeter. So for me, I like A1 steak sauce, but I think it's like, I would rather keep some around than mm. have it be a table staple. I, for me, it's kind of one of the default, like, yeah. steak <laughs> sauces, you know? Mm -hmm. I, my, the only other one that I know of that I've had commercially is like Liam Terrence. I haven't mm. had, like, the Heinz steak sauce or anything like that. So, for a lot of my life, this kind of just is what I think of when I think of steak sauce. I like it. Yeah. It's a little it's a little too much sometimes. It doesn't go with everything, but it does make shittier quality steaks more tolerable. Yeah, I think I agree with you there. What do you think, Steve? I detest A1 steak sauce. Mm. I think it is really? disgusting. Really? I think it really should never be put anywhere near a steak. steak instead? I would rather go out of my way to make a fucking chimichurri sauce or a fucking whiskey glaze. You are pretty good at making your own sauces, so you probably shouldn't need to rely on, on A1 with your... Uh... You need to pour that shit in the sink because it tastes <laughs> nothing but, like, cowboy oh. leather. I, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm kind of willing to go down to better than dry. Where it's like, if I didn't have any in the house, I wouldn't be upset about it. There are you different know? kinds of barbecue sauces that I would argue that statement with reverse. I... Mm. I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of want to insist on keeps them around a little bit, but I will concede that Steve hates it. So better than dry is fine. All right, that's that's. I think that's totally fine. I would rather eat a dry steak than put a one on it. Mm. I mean, it tastes. Well, it some tastes some like steaks. A some steaks don't need sauce. Some steaks are just good enough that you can eat them as they are. I don't want saddle flavor on my sirloin. Thank you saddle very much. Saddle flavor. All right. Dan says if you try to put A1 on a steak I cooked, you better be able to run faster than never, me. I have never even <laughs> needed to think about A1 anywhere near Dan. A1 is horrendous. <clears throat> I genuinely think the only reason that that parents keep it in their cabinet is because they bought it one time in the year 1994 and, and then it just, just never, it just never got rid of it. <laughs> My dad would, I swear to fucking Christ, my dad has been using the same bottle of A1 steak sauce since we moved into that house. That's freaking funny. And I swear to Christ, every time he puts it on his plate, he's like, it's so good. I'm like, you're struggling. <laughs> All right. All right, what's, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, that's the sound he makes after he Sorry. swallows it. All right, next up we got uh, Ken's balsamic vinaigrette. I have not had this. I don't know what this. This is just a salad dressing. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's not something I would regularly put on a food, but I've marinated chicken in it before. It does marinate a chicken real good. All right. All right. Um, um, I really don't eat salads, so some of these are just going to be like... I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a proper condiment, uh, unless you're talking about salad. You can pour that down the um, sink. Better than dry. I, like, whatever. Are sure. you telling... Wait a second. Okay, hang on. No, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... Like, I'm going to argue what? with you. Like, okay. So, so you are, tell me. There are no, 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 no. you can put no, balsamic no. vinaigrette on, right? If you're doing no. iceberg lettuce out on, like, my Subway sandwich, I'll put balsamic vinaigrette on that, whatever. Okay, but let's say in a different situation, you have a turkey, ham, tomato, and lettuce on a piece of, on two pieces of bread. And you say, hmm, I don't want to eat this dry. Your first go-to is balsamic. Not necessarily, but I'm saying I can see it and I enjoy it. I don't right. want my lips puckering like an asshole when I'm enjoying a ham sandwich. So then I think I, that I think that the best place for this might be better than or better than dry, right? Yeah. Where it's like where it's like I'm not you know it's incredible. It's not the it's first fine. go to if your sandwich is dry, but it's fine. Sure. Yeah. You know. I do want to catch up with chat real quick. Reverse says barbecue is the best sauce in history, hands down. Um, which Liam might have already acknowledged, but also asks um, if Pikachu were to pick a sauce, what sauce would it be? 
Are we talking about like, you know, we were eating Pikachu and we're putting the sauce, or is this like if what's Pikachu's favorite sauce? I don't know. I think I think my answer either way is probably sweet and sour sauce. I would say sweet and sour or ranch. Ooh, ranch is a dimension I had not considered for <laughs> Pikachu's favorite sauce? I don't know. You gotta ask Pikachu. I'm not. I'm just, um, <clears throat> probably sweet and sour. Maybe. Oh, what do we have next, Liam? Now, now yeah. if I was eating a Pikachu, I would probably say something like soy sauce or some ginger and garlic sauce. Mm. All right. Probably go really good with some white rice. All right. So we can we can call uh, balsamic vinaigrette as uh, better than dry. I think mean, that's a good medium for it. I really don't have much to say about it. Next up is Sweet Baby Ray's. Um, uh, this is like regular old uh, um, uh, uh, sauce. barbecue sauce. Honey barbecue sauce. Uh, for me, this is like at least a table staple. This is like one of – I really like Sweet Baby Ray's. That's one of my favorite yeah. uh, barbecue mm -hmm. sauces. This is what I would put on those meat pies instead of the A1 sauce, and I enjoyed it a lot better. Mm. I agree with you. Yeah. Joranthu says, my dad likes it. Good. I'm pretty meh. Yeah. Like, if I'm, if it's a store bar barbecue sauce, I don't think you can do a lot better than these videos, personally. I think you're right. Yeah. I think, I think beyond, uh, beyond making your own or going to like a fancy place that does like a, like a. They make your own in-house. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> what do you think, Steve? sell it by the pint. You can have it at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Uh, that's the only sauce I'll put on my fucking ribs. Fair enough. Mm. I think table staple. I think table staple. Maybe, maybe Agree. pushing, maybe pushing, but you know, well, it's, I think it's fine here. Um, Ken's Steakhouse <laughs> Chunky something? <laughs> Probably Bruce Chunky says, Blue Cheese. Oh. It is Chunky Blue Cheese. Uh, sink. Oh, sink. 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 Pour that down <laughs> the sink. I don't oh, want to no. smell it. You uh, people are fucking tasteless. Uh, no, no, ranch no, no, only no. with wings. Put blue cheese down Ugh. the sink. You, you fucking uncultured Rampant. children. No, no, no. Yeah. There are a handful of foods. Right? I'm a picky eater. You know that. That's not a... You that's, are a picky eater. I'm so a you picky eater. Don't get a no, 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 no. So here's the thing, okay? Despite being a picky eater, there are some things that my body just, like, rejects. More than just, yeah, like, like, oh, I don't sauce. like it. Yeah, I'm just I whining because I'm a baby. It's like, no, it's like, no. I actually will, like, I actually will be, like unhappy if this is in my mouth it's that Ew, it's like buffalo sauce over a single brussels sprout last week <laughs> i didn't cry that much oh. um uh no blue cheese is one of those things that i will not tolerate my my palate is a little bit broader than liam's is by default i also hate blue cheese dressing liam is correct where would you put it steve better than dry easily oh <laughs> mm, no what no i would rather eat nothing no. I think that I think that we're gonna. I I, I lean on majority rules for that one. Uh, -uh. Yeah. I disagree. I would really rather carrots. Dry. I, I, I don't know. I don't like carrots either. Like <laughs> Jordan yeah, says, I'd light it on fire. <laughs> uh, Tearless is tainted. Mike and Lena disagree. They love blue cheese. Is what uh, I'm understanding. You guys can have it. Good for asks, you. Is potato sauce? Why is it on this list? We'll get. We'll there. get there. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Blue cheese is superior to ranch when it comes to wings. No. Thumbs yes. down. Ranch is disgusting. All Your right, fucking runny milk sauce. Oh, no. we'll get there. We'll we, we'll have ranch here. Soon. Like okay, ranch like I don't, sure. I don't love ranch either. But like blue, I, do, I I'm not, I'm not having it with blue cheese. That goes in the sink. I mm. request that it be better and better than dry. Mm. I don't know. I think you're getting majority ruled on this one. I think we're going. It's going in the sink. I think you can scoop it out of there you if you want it. Before you get a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up next? Uh, boom boom sauce. I've heard of this. I've never had it, but it sounds keep too flavorful around. for me. What is it? What is it? Where does it go? Uh, keep some around. Where does it go? Like, what does it go on? Yeah. What anything? does it go on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? You can do anything with it. It's like kind it's of a creamy and spicy. It's like a creamy, spicy, spicy Asian okay. sauce. They serve it with, um, like, uh, you know, uh, fried shrimp, uh, other stuff like that. I know that Anna likes it a little bit. I'm not a fan. It's, like, fine. But keeps them around is acceptable because I do. All right. Fair enough. I can make Fair it enough. on a fly. Mm. Lena says, uh, spicy sauce, good. Sweet chili sauce, carrots, shrimp. Dan says, not even spicy. Slight tang, maybe. Um, yeah. 
Uh, Mike says, it's pr probably it's too flavorful for Liam and his six-year-old palate. Hey, I make no claims to the contrary. I <laughs> I'll own it. <laughs> Liam thinks mayonnaise is spicy. Mm -hmm. Liam just doesn't like mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise. It's true. It's I, don't, spicy. I don't like mayonnaise. Yeah, that's why. Um, reverse we'll says, why is mashed potato on the sauce list, Liam? I didn't make this. I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it it's when we get there. Potato. I don't know why it's there. All right, next up is uh, Tostitos, um, which is in particular and queso. Uh, salsa con queso. Um, that's heinous. You should never put that on any kind of food. I do not like, I do not like salsa. Um, Case is all right. Case is okay. Um, but I, I don't know. Salsa, I, it's not for me. You're, you're complaining about how blue cheese is chunky, then you're going to hate this shit. Yeah, I do. I, I don't like this. Um, I'll, I'll be the, I'll die on the hill. I like this. I like it uh, to dip my chips into. Uh, I can see it as like a condiment, I guess. Man, I don't want to really put it on anything other than chips, but you could, you Bless could you. maybe sell me on burger. You could maybe sell me on hot dog. Okay, so where would you put it? Uh, better than dry. Better than dry. Better than uh, dry. Where do you think, Steve? Pour it down the fucking sink. That's no. He thinks it's bad. It could go bottom of better than dry. Uh, no. How do we sink. feel? How do we feel versus balsamic vinegar? That is the fucking dip you bring out into a party, and someone takes like one or two scoops of it, and then it goes untouched for the rest of the night. I that don't... is not an acceptable condiment. Yeah, I don't like the <laughs> chunky of any of this. Uh, I don't like salsa at all. I would, I could, I could pour it down the sink and not bat an eye. I think All right, you can, we can sink. I understand. Yeah, chunky blue cheese is, is, is if I'm a fucking like sinner for that, then you're a fucking heathen. It's mm. fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I think these can go in the sink. I'm sorry, Sean. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not. All right. Hershey's, Hershey's chocolate syrup. Um, I don't know what you're putting this on. What sandwich are you putting chocolate syrup on? This is not all sandwiches. You can put it on ice cream. You can put it in milk, milk to make chocolate milk. Like, the, not all of these are going on sandwiches. Like, this is... I would not say that a condiment and a topping are the same thing. I would argue that. You you could argue that, but they're here on the list, so we're just going to roll with it. I'm not going to put them yeah. in, this is technically not a condiment tier. I, okay. We're going to put it the somewhere. Next time I make sandwiches, you're getting chocolate syrup on your sandwich. I, you don't have to put making... it on a sandwich. You don't, have, you, you can put, nice people sandwich. don't always eat salsa con queso on sandwiches. They eat those with chips. You can put Hershey's on but ice cream. A condiment. That would be a dip then. Is condiment, to, is condiment only sandwich topping to you? Is that what that means in your head? Yes, condiment is a sandwich topping. You can put A1 steak sauce on your sandwich? Steak sandwich. Yes, a steak sandwich. I guess. Okay, you can put chocolate syrup on an ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwich. All right. Sean, who let you in this conversation? <laughs> so let's just take it as it is, okay? I refuse. Um, so, ahead. so here's the thing. I know, I know, we're talking about me being a six-year-old, which is kind of true, and I know that this is very sugary and syrupy. I don't like Hershey's chocolate that much. I hate to be just like the the like the like downer of this episode. I probably still like this better than like a lot of these, you know, if I'm having chocolate milk, it's going to be Nesquik. If I'm having like, if I'm having like ice cream, it's going to be like that shell stuff that hardens probably. Really? Like, yeah. Are you a fan of oh, then, texture? I am a fan texture. of that. Texture and also the flavor. Hershey's is not good chocolate. Hershey's kind of sucks. <laughs> you have a stronger opinion than I do. Yeah. I would say keep some around because I still think it's like worth something, but like. It's not my go-to for doing chocolate. You don't eat chocolate. That's the thing, though. You I know, eat a yeah. Little bit. Like, I, you still have a chocolate chip cookie in, in the kitchen. I know, yeah. From, like, a month ago. I know, because I have to be really careful about when I eat chocolate. So, it's like... And it's like, when I do, if I'm going to go out of my way to eat chocolate, it's going to be probably better than Hershey's, I hope. Mm. Uh, Jornthu says, I, Hershey, I like Hershey's chocolate well enough. I'd pick, it o I pick others over it, but I won't complain if I'm given it. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. If you, if we're at, if we're at, you know, uh, uh, if we're at like a theme park and you hand me an ice cream and it's got Hershey's syrup on it, I'm not going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be like, cool, ice cream. But like, you know. It's fine. I'm a big fan of like black and white shakes. So I like Hershey's syrup in that context. Uh -huh. So I don't know. I think it's, um, I think it's worth keeping around. Yeah, I agree with you. Hey, there's Chris with the subscription. Thank you very much for 36 months. That is three freaking years. I can't even believe we've been streaming for that long. Thank you very much, oh, yeah. my friend. Always happy to have you. <clears throat> 
I have awoken from nap. Welcome back. And there's Sean with that as well. Thank you very much, my friend, for being my co-host as always. Yeah, no worries. <clears throat> All right, cool. Um, yeah, Hershey's is fine. I would put it above these just because I don't really eat those. But, like, whatever. It's fine. This doesn't really matter that much. Okay, what's yeah. up next? What's up next? What is this? Uh, cocktail sauce? Heinz cocktail sauce. Is this the kind of stuff you put, like, um, like what's shrimp. cocktail sauce? You shrimp in it? Yeah. Like shrimp cocktail. You can do it with, like, fish sticks. You can do it with, um... I don't know. I've mixed it and had other sauces with it, but that's because I am a heathen. Um, I'd rather ketchup on shrimp. Yeah, sure. I mean, cocktail sauce is ketchup plus horseradish. Or rather, chili category. sauce plus horseradish. So. Yeah. We should add a new category. What? In the cabinet for some reason. In the cabinet for some reason? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's probably, probably similar to better than dry, I think. We don't want to overlap too much who are the sick boys i mean steve was just tired but he took a nap and he's feeling better sean's a little congested and i'm getting I'm over i'm getting over strep throat yeah um saucy generally put on seafood which is really odd uh I, I don't think it's that odd but i don't like it i think horseradish is really strong for me tartar sauce i said how oh how are the sick boys good good we're doing all right all right um uh, all right, where are we putting cocktail sauce? Because I don't know what to do with this. Honestly, it's... Better than dry keeps them around. It's inoffensive. I like it. All right. I will I will put it with other than seafood just because, again, I'm a heathen. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. It's not, like, not going to blow you away. It just kind of hangs out here. Yeah, we got... Is this ranch? I think is this, this is... Creamy ranch? Ranch? I don't know. It's, like, the thing is, like, it, it'll, it just says Ken's Steakhouse Creamy, and it probably is going to say ranch below that, but I can't really make it be there. Um, probably creamy ranch though. I don't love ranch. Uh, it's not is like it creamy, is it creamy Caesar. It's the creamy Caesar. Okay. What's like on like a Caesar salad, for example. Right. In particular, um, you could put it on, like chicken salad, you can put it with like turkey even. Okay. Like for me, this is like here. It's like better than dry. What do you guys think? Mm. Better than dry, probably. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't eat salads frequently enough. Better than dry. Fair enough. I really, I really don't eat salads either. We can keep moving. Red hot sauce. Table staple. Put, a, put that shit on everything. <clears throat> um, it's fine. It's keeps them around. All right, we can put it here. I wouldn't touch it. That's that's bad news for for me. But uh, but I'll I'll exempt my opinion from this one because I just you know I'm just not gonna touch it. Yeah, fair. Um, but yeah, we have some, don't we, Steve? I see you put this on like um like burritos and stuff all the time. I have the Aldi variety of it, but yeah. But it's basically, yeah, the same kind of thing. <clears throat> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Table staple. Got some red hot. What is this? Country French. Is this more oh, dressing? dressing? All right. Yeah, that's more dressing. <laughs> uh, it goes on some sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, it goes on salads. It's like a heavy, it's like a, a, a red thick uh, dressing. Um, it's like kind of sweet. It's fine. All right. Kind of sweet. What do you think, Steve? I've personally never had it. I have no idea what it tastes like. All right, Sean, it's you. Where's it going? Uh, better than dry. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll just put it over here, I guess. Mm. Fair enough. Pretty easy one. Chorinthus says, uh, not to be confused with urban French dressing, which contains cigarette ash and disappointment. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what? Country. Country French. Oh, okay, because it's called country. I see, I see, I see. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> Mike says, Liam meats and sweets over here. <laughs> Can't handle some spice or you might explode. Listen, you can make fun of me for that all day. I deserve it, but I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. True. True. All right. French's uh, yellow mustard. 
keeps him around. It's fine. Yeah, better than it's not dry. the best mustard, but it's okay. All right. I will. I will. I will take any kind of mustard over yellow mustard. Mm. Better than dry. Better than dry. Better than dry. All right, we can put it better than dry. That's fine. That's fine. Man, there's a lot of these in here. Ah, oh, Liam, our I, favorite. I have to be potatoes. honest. I eat a lot of dry sandwiches just because I don't like a lot of these. You know. That's honestly well, kind of sad. I guess I, I guess I shouldn't say I don't eat a lot of dry sandwiches. It's just I don't eat a lot of sandwiches. Mm. Maybe because that I also don't makes like, me sad. Yeah. It depends, right? Like, it's fine. I'm really boring when it comes to sandwiches, and so it's not a normal, like, lunch option for me. If I'm having a sandwich, it's going to be, like, a panini with, like, melted cheese or something like that, you know? Sure, Where it's, yeah. like, not quite so dry. Um, like, for me, a ham and cheese sandwich is, like, just ham and cheese, and it's, like, that's a little sad. All right, so now we're up to the freaking mashed potatoes. What is this, and why is this on here? There's no label. That's hummus. Is that this hummus? Is hummus. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> I've not had hummus, but every time I look at it, I go, uh, I don't it's... really want to try that. I'm not like, it's, it's like better than dry. Like I, I'm not a real hummus enjoyer. I don't like chickpeas that much. Mm. I've fine. come around to enjoying it while on my diet recently. <laughs> um, especially since there's different flavored ones. I mean, they have a chocolate hummus, which is actually pretty, pretty decent. Huh. And they, they also, it literally tastes like pudding. It's, it, it doesn't even, yeah, you wouldn't know the fucking difference. Um, really? And they also have fire roasted red peppers. They have spicy hummus. They have pickled uh, flavored hummus. They have all, it's, it's literally like Lay's potato chips. They, they have a flavor for just about anything. Interesting. And, okay. You know, once you just con convince yourself that it's like same texture as mashed potatoes, it's pretty fucking great. Um, goes great with wheat thins. And I would argue it goes good on a sandwich. Okay. All right, Steve's got a pretty positive opinion. Should we keep some around? Yeah. I'm okay with keeping some around. Yeah, that's not for me. Some people like it. Yeah, that's I probably fair. won't. I probably won't touch it that much. But I'm I'm glad it's been working out for you on your diet. Mm -hmm. I put that shit on um, a lot of the burritos and wraps that I make. It's a mm -hmm. pretty good substitute for sour cream. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not that different texturally, but sure. Lena says in terms uh, of like a binder. Lana says hummus is also not a condiment. Listen, we're not arguing about what is or isn't condiments here. We can't. That, we like, can't. <laughs> we never would have found. We it can, us. but that we won't do anything else. Um, there's some other stuff on here that you might that you might not agree goes in the same. You know, like are we really going to be talking about peanut butter and sauerkraut and Ready Whip in the same ballpark? I, I mean, we're wide umbrella here. Um, Mike says it's a spread. Sure, I guess, and like. I don't know. Salsa is is like is like a not a not a sauce or not a I don't know, but it's whatever. We're just ranking these things. These are, you know, I, I would say the through line that a lot of these have is that most of these or, or or maybe all of these you would not like eat as a meal by itself. This is something that goes oh, with God. other food. I'm I'm revolted at that thought with some of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, give me the wow. baby rays. <laughs> God. All right. Uh, garlic Parmesan, Ken's. Um, uh, I don't know if I've I would ever say, had this. I would say it's pretty decent. Um, I actually been, it's like a garlic aioli sauce, pretty much. And I'd probably try this above of, like a lot of the other things. I might put it like here. That might be like kind of okay. I've never had it. I would try it. It's good. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. If you okay, if you like ranch, it's basically just garlic ranch. Ranch well, is not preferable to me. I usually leave it off, it. but I could eat it. I think I think it's fine. And then maybe garlic ranch is like a little bit more appetizing to me. I think that's fine. I would put it here. That's probably okay. This one just says garlic, and it's in one of those little like pull tab. That's from Papa John's. That's from that's from Papa John's. Okay. Yeah, it's the Papa that's John's the garlic, garlic sauce. butter sauce. Uh, I would say trash, honestly. I think. Um. Listen. Okay, go ahead, Sean. I'll, I'll plead no, my go, case last. Go, no, please. No, go ahead. It. You're no. You're the pizza man. Your opinion's the most important here. I think. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Sean? Uh, Dominino's. You're phrasing carefully. Dominino's. He's saying you worked at Domino's, so you've been around you pizza. You stop, bitch. <laughs>
Um, I would say that if you need to dip your greasy fucking oven slab pizza into butter and garlic, then you're probably not a happy human being. <laughs> yeah, but we've had those nights, right? I've never used garlic sauce. Even 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 on the even on those nights, never garlic sauce. No, it's already on the crust. All right. I like it with the uh, the Papa John's cheesy bread. You fucking heathen. It's fine. It's not like my favorite thing, but I really like that cheesy bread, and that honestly saves a lot of chain pizza for me. Mike says garlic dip is not a condiment. Mods, can we ban this guy? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna ban no, let him speak. <laughs> um, it's fine. I'm not like going to bat for it. I've had it before. It's okay. Goes better, uh, better than dry. Steve, Steve, is, Steve seems to be uh, passionately defending sink. Is the vibe that I get. So I'll I will. Take, I will, I will take bottom of better than dry i will i will stand for okay. that i will i think that's it. fair because this is something that like i would actually maybe try you know mm -hmm. it's just garlic it's fine I it's all the <laughs> thing that liam ends up liking and just getting a straw for every time oh gods i can think of a couple just other like things creamer. on this list that i would do that i do not just drink creamer okay that's a uh, that is a, a that is a, a, a out of context <laughs> oh man what's your creamer to to, to drink mix ratio I'm pretty sure when you put creamer in tea, you put more creamer than tea. That's, in. I mean, not quite that much. It's maybe like 20% creamer. I don't, which I is don't like, believe you. Which is like still, creamer is really strong. Even for sweet tooth me, it's like really strong. All right. Yeah, no. Mike Mike knows what he's talking about. He puts about. A, a drop of coffee in there. Oh, I don't drink coffee. Ugh, no thanks. Um, <laughs> That's worse than I really what, like, crazy? I really like Chorinthu's uh, comment. Any liquid is a condiment if you're depressed enough. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> He's absolutely right. Who said that? that Chorinthu, is who is uh, who is new this stream. I'm 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 glad you're here because you've got some funny things to say. I like this person. Yeah. This person's correct. Break out the depression jokes. I'm all for it. Well, all right. I mean, so I remember when we did the cracker uh, tier list, Sean was just like, yeah, I've definitely had <laughs> weed thins and ketchup. Oh, thins and ketchup. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, gravy's next. I like gravy. I, I like some gravy better than others, but to me, it's that's a table sta table staple. I think I I think I put it like here, or maybe maybe even now, above Baby Ray's. This is specifically brown gravy, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like um I like gravy, and in particular, um um I'm not gonna name names, but uh, you guys remember where I used to live uh, back in the old uh, the old house. Um, yes. and the, uh, the, the very prominent, uh, um, place down the street that we always used to go to. Yes. Their gravy is like the best in the world. I've never had gravy that good anywhere else. It's so good. That so funny. particular gravy I would, I put on like everything, but I'm taking like the average case gravy here. Average case brown gravy. Time to generalize brown gravy like there aren't five versions of this, says Mike. Yeah, I know. I, we, we gotta. We don't have all five versions on the tier list. We're just talking about gravy. Um, this list sucks. I, I, what do you want from me? I, I didn't make it. I did not make this list. Um, <laughs> sure, this is, look, just work within the limitations of the tier list. That's what we're doing. With it, just, It's not comprehensive, but it's better than the other lists that we found. So that's what we're going to do. All right. What okay. do you guys think about brown gravy? Um, I like brown gravy. I'm not, it's not like necessarily table staple for me. I don't consume it with enough frequency, but mm -hmm. on mashed potatoes, on like a Thanksgiving sandwich, mm -hmm. on like yeah. stuffing, oh, any, yeah. any Thanksgiving related th or potato related thing is passable. Even point. like, even like KFC brown yeah. gravy is like not that bad. It's like, it's like, nah, yeah. all right, I can get down with this. That's fine. What do you think, Steve? Um, it's offered to me once a year and I still refuse it. It gives me the shits. Really? Hmm. Where would you put it? Would you just pour it in the sink? You can't even handle it. Better than dry. We can put this. We can put this lower. We could even. We could even put this. Top of keeps them around, kind of average out. Because I really like it, but it's not just my my list. So, you yeah, know, sure. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. Um. <laughs> All right, chat's talking about brown gravy. Can you even visually distinguish the five brown gravies? Yeah, because some of them have chunks in them and some of them don't. <laughs> and Jorinthu says, but can you tell all of them apart mutually? Jorinthu really said, you like brown gravy? Name every brown gravy. Name every brown gravy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, 
But uh, yeah, the, the 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 best in the world brown gravy that I was talking about is is also very different. Like it's it was very dark and almost almost like kind of um, like translucent a little bit. It wasn't like the very mm -hmm. like thick, creamy, opaque looking gravy that you see sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what makes the difference, but it was super good. All right, Ken's Greek something. I don't know what this is. Mm, Greek dressing, probably. Quick tzatziki sauce. No, it's brown. no, it's like it's like brownish. That's like a that's a that's a fucking salad dressing. I don't know. All right. Um, Let me see. Greek fire. <laughs> Greek fire. <laughs> Gosh, put that on your salad. You know, yeah, what? I, I don't know. Would. People have it with feta and black olives sometimes, but I don't know it. All right. Um, we don't have an I don't know tier. We could maybe. We could take a chance, say it's probably better than, you know, dry sandwich, maybe. It's probably better than dry. I think for a sauce that I've never had before, it's probably better than dry because I will probably try any sauce once. Yeah, I'll probably leave it, but I'm, you know, if someone else wants it, I'm probably not going to pour it in the sink. You know, it's, it's whatever. I don't hate it enough to, like, you know, get rid of it if I don't know it. All right, what's next? What's this? Uh, hoisin sauce? I... I feel like that's not something you put on top of stuff. I feel like that's something yeah. that you're more likely to cook with. You can do like hmm. a little bit as like on, I've seen it on like some like street food, but okay. like. But that's usually sweet and not straight out of the bottle. But a hoisin is usually like in something. Hmm. It's a part of a greater sauce. Okay. Um, um, I would dip chicken in it though. It's better than dry. Sure. Why not? All right. Yeah. How, um, how likely are we to just have this in the kitchen to add to other things? Um, oh, I'd time. probably keep it in my arsenal of things to cook with, but that's Table staple. Yeah. All right. Keep some around. Do we keep some around? I think that's fine. I don't know. Here, I guess. Table staple, better than dry. Yeah, that's, that's probably fine, like here. Like in the middle, maybe. All right. <clears throat> Ken's honey mustard. Yes. Um, I love this honey mustard specifically. Really? Yeah, I like this one a lot. All right. Um, where would you put it? I would. This is a table staple for me. Top this is almost. This up. is like top of table staple for me. Actually. Okay. Fair enough. I'm Wait, not the is biggest table, staple the high the highest. No, put it on everything yeah. is the highest. Put it on everything is the highest. I would put it on everything. Really? Yeah, really. I'll oh, yeah. agree with that. All right. Wow. I'll, okay. I'll keep, the, I'll keep that opinion higher. Heck yeah. yeah. I'm not the biggest um honey mustard guy, but it's fine. It's like. It's like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to not eat it like I will most of this stuff. I think I go to it more than ketchup for fries or for chicken or wow. for something like that at this point. I would agree. That's all right. Fair enough. Like Fair if enough. I'm just making like, you know, if I'm making a dad no, sandwich, like, you know, I just got home from doing a bunch yeah. of food or Hell yeah. <laughs> dad yeah. sandwich. Yeah. That's the fucking sauce I'm putting on top of that shit. Hell yeah. All right. Fucking cool. I'm down with that. Ham, American cheese, some tomatoes and some pickles. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of honey mustard on the bottom. Sweet. All right, cool. Uh, I think that's that's pretty easy then. All right, our first put it on everything. Excellent. Good job, Ken's honey mustard. What the fuck is this white block? Um, this like boar's, boar's, boar's head, head horseradish. No. Boar's head horseradish. Is it the creamy horseradish or is it just horseradish? I, it doesn't say. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't know if I can zoom in that far. Uh, all natural horseradish grated in vinegar. That's all I got. Yeah, okay. So I'll, just I'll like take hot radish. sauce over horseradish any day. I can't do horseradish. It's too much for me. I will eat horseradish out of a jar. That's one of the oh, That's one of those <laughs> things that like <laughs> that like you smell it and you go, "Oh." Yeah, hell yeah. Ugh, no, I up. can't. I can't. My cousin Mike mix, mix it in uh, mix it in mayonnaise, ahead. mix it in ketchup. You can make cocktail sauce out of it. You can make other aiolis out of it. It pairs well with stuff and brings an interesting sour component. You can do lemon with or without it to do a similar kind of thing in a lot of sauces. It's good with stuff. Creamy horseradish, which may or may not be on this list later, fucking sucks. Awful. Terrible. Horseradish by itself, I understand that it's too strong for some people, but as a component, I like it. Hey, Spooky subscribe. Thank you very much, Spooky. I got a laptop. Oh, I feel like a hacker, man. Excellent. Good for you, man. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you very much for the subscription. I will um, say yeah, yeah, that the only horseradish I've enjoyed is probably the kind that my cousin Mike gets from Maryland. It's called nasal napalm. 
Mm, don't know that one. Diesel napalm. All right. I've seen, it, uh, it clears you the fuck out. Culture, I believe, is the brand that I use. All right. So it's in like this thin glass jar. Go ahead. I'm ready to put this stuff in the sink, but Sean loves it. And Steve, what do you think? I'm, it's it's, it's not to keep them around. around. It's not it's not it's not like a staple all the time, but it's a keep some around. It's I definitely think. a keep some around. I'll agree with Sean on that. Alright. That's Maybe totally close to the bottom keep some around. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll take it. I'll take it. Torrenthu says I stepped away for this, but I have to strongly disagree with the honey mustard verse the verdict. Hate that stuff. I'm mad on it, but these guys like sing its praises, so I'm not everything. you know, yeah. <laughs> Sean, listen, Sean listed like th like six things he could put it on. Listen, be, living in Jersey, you got to understand that there are some things that just go with other. Some <laughs> of the best things that you got is, you know, a 4 a.m. Wawa run. You're grabbing a pork roll, egg and cheese on a bagel. It's not a good bagel. It's not it's not the best that you can get in Jersey. It's a Wawa bagel. Of, it's a Wawa bagel. But with a little bit of honey mustard, that sandwich fucking sings. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. Do you use normal garlic or the pre-chopped lazy garlic? I'll use either. I've chopped garlic. I've, I've, um, I've, I've done it myself. But there's no shame I've, in using the pre-chopped stuff if you don't got time. I've only prepared it myself a handful of times, despite cooking a lot and enjoying cooking. Uh, I go with the garlic, although I have recently started to be converted. So we'll see. I use lazy garlic a lot. That's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, Look, the next jersey can fuck right off. I won't put mustard <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah, there. <clears throat> All right. That one. So Heinz tomato ketchup for me. I put this on everything. Um, yeah. Yep. It's it's such a go-to. Uh, I like it. Sandwiches, less fries. Uh, put it on. You can eat shrimp with this. You can eat anything fried with this. You can eat hot dogs with this. You can. Ketchup goes with so many things. I eat ketchup today. It does go on everything. I yeah. put it, I use it less as an adult. Like I said, I use honey mustard more often now. Um, but it's still like, <laughs> you put it on a lot of stuff. It's I, on a lot of stuff. <laughs> just going to further incriminate myself. I put uh, ketchup on more things now that I'm an, I'm an adult because as a kid, I just ate most things dry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Uh, we keep whole garlic bulbs around the house. So I always prep that by hand. Um, well, Steve and I have the, um, the food processor now, so we do that sometimes with the garlic, but even, even with stuff I've made with my brother here and there, I've like chopped garlic before and it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Like roasted garlic to make it into a paste. Mm, that sounds good. Um, Spooky says, uh, do you know one American city, which I will not name, put salad on their hot dog? I, I don't know, but don't get me started on on Cincinnati chili. Don't even, don't even get me started on the freaking atrocity. I'm sorry to people who live in Cincinnati. I lived in Cincinnati. I, 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 all right. Um, what's next? We got Cecile. It's like the lemon is, and lemon lime juice, juice, juice that you'd put on stuff. What do you guys Keep think? Component in a lot of sauces and a lot of drinks. Um, it's good. I keep it around. I put some in my water every so put often. Put some on fish, like uh, either of them, but especially the lemon on like fish. Yeah, okay. Or, like, crab, crab cakes. All right. Fish sticks. I Ooh. can see that. I can see that. Jordan Thu says, "I'm Italian. My diet consists of enough garlic that vampires will, vampires will likely die trying to eat me." <laughs> Very good. Very good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Aunt Jemima's syrup. Um, Put that shit on everything. This is a table staple, at least for me. There's a table staple. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's just good. It's it's just good. Yeah. Um, Listen, there is nothing that some that there is nothing that. Hang on, I gotta phrase this properly. Nothing that doesn't go well with a nice little dip of syrup. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. Sure. You could. Uh, you could. Put this on ice cream. Like this is not. It goes good with meat. It goes good with carbs. It goes good with potatoes. This is not like actual maple syrup. I want to acknowledge this is like the yeah. The this is like bottled table syrup. I prefer this to actual syrup personally. I think I agree that with you. 
sacrilege. No, but I think I agree with you. I think I agree Dan's with gonna you. Kill us, but... Yeah, Dan's going to kill us. But I, I think I do agree with you. Now, I am not an amazing cook. I'm not the most – I do not have the most developed palate, but I do make some killer pancakes. And um, the best way to eat pancakes is to – you know, when they're like nice – a little crispy, you put like a little too much butter in the pan – nice and crispy, nice and gold, you get some, um, you get some, uh, uh, butter, right? And you let the butter melt a little bit and then you put the syrup and you kind of mix it around until it becomes this like golden, wonderful sauce on your crispy pancakes. That's the best. There's nothing. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Um, I probably don't put this on as many things as I put like Heinz ketchup, but it's really good. The, the, the stuff that it does go on, ooh. <clears throat> All right, cool. We got Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, um, which yeah. I do not like mayonnaise. I'm not oh, a mayonnaise person. Man. I put it on everything. Oh, Sean. I put it in the sink. Yeah. Nah, I keep some around. Yep. Directly <sighs> spread across. This is rough. Where do we put spread mayonnaise? Across. This is <laughs> Mike's just poison, and I'm I, I agree with him. No hate to anyone the, likes this stuff, it base, but it's not for me. It is me. the base of so many other good sandwich sauces. There, you can mix infinite things with mayonnaise and put it on a sandwich, and it's incredible. You can put it with mm. chicken, and it's incredible. You can do it by itself. If you make a sandwich the right way and moisten both sides of the sandwich, it's so good. <laughs> Spooky says it, may mayonnaise is a good instrument. Mike says American mayo is dog. <laughs> wait, American? Wait, wait, wait there's different As opposed varieties to Japanese mayo. mayonnaise. Yeah, Japanese mayonnaise it's, is like, different. Oh. Mayonnaise. It's mm -hmm. different. That's the stuff that they put on like takoyaki, right? Um, maybe? I think so. Because I, I think I actually kind of like that, that kind of mayonnaise. Um, Mike says literally any non-American mayo. <clears throat> um, I don't, man, this is such a weird thing because Sean says put it on everything. I say so throw keeps, it in the sink. So it keeps them around, right? So we so keep so some around. Three us, the three of us are living in a house. We keep some around. Yeah, right. Steve will use it sometimes. I'll use it frequently. You'll never touch it. It's fine. We keep some around. Fair enough. All right. All right. Now we got like very specifically a. <laughs> Mike says get German mayo. It'll change your life. Never had German mayo before. <laughs> I don't know if I have either. So this is very specifically like a McDonald's sweet and sour little 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 packet where you like peel the top off. Steve loves these. I know you do. I mean, yeah, I keep some, I keep some in reserve in the fridge just in case. Yeah, but My I remember whenever we get McDonald's, them. you like ask for it in particular. Yeah, you like I make sure we get like, some. I do like the um, the spicy garlic sauce that they just came out with because they're doing mm. the the anime promotion. Mm -hmm. That stuff is actually pretty tasty. I like that. All right. But I like keeping this around because it's like kind of the second best thing to duck sauce if I want like a sweet like condiment. I agree. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's like this or like a Thai chili sauce. So probably. maybe like like high keeps them around. Something I like to do is like the soup noodles that they'll serve with like, you know, Chinese food. I'll take those and I'll dip them in the sweet and sour Ooh, sauce. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's really good, good for nuggets. Good for fries. Yep. I mean, it's, it's not my first choice ever, but like it's good. But it's sure. pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. All right. What is Miracle Whip if, if it's not mayonnaise? Because I thought it was. It's like an alternative mayonnaise, I believe. Is this for like people who like are allergic to eggs or something? Maybe, or it might be calorie something. I don't. Know. Could be. Uh, I don't Miracle know. Whip. Miracle Whip has half the calories and half the fat. Okay. So it's like a more health conscious mayonnaise. Do yeah, we put it in like the same oil. place? I don't know like what to do with this. Um, it doesn't taste the same. Uh, okay. Some people like it better. I do not like it as much personally. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can put it like lower, keep some around, or are we just not even gonna have this over mayonnaise? Yeah. It honestly doesn't make a difference to me. It literally keep some around. I way. would rather have Miracle Whip than no mayonnaise. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, okay. What is this? What am I looking at here? Oh, that's taco sauce. Taco sauce. I don't know. I don't know what to do with taco sauce. What, what kind of sauce? 
taco you, sauce. It just it, it's like it's like a spicy tomato based sauce. Kinda. Uh, it's not even spicy. It's just got a nice flavor to it. It is um it is tomato based. Uh, it goes on uh, white people tacos. Um, you can use it to like, you know, dip taquitos or, you know, mix with sour cream. Do like the same kind of thing for certain like, you know, American mexican dishes all right i like to i like to cook chicken in it because it makes it taste good and i can say it is good that way too have you made mm. the chicken with this before mm, i put it on chicken thighs before i think i might remember that you've not made a whole lot of food that i haven't really loved so i'll take your word for it where does it go i know what i'm fucking doing nerd I, you are yeah. and i acknowledge that every time you're good at cooking and i like eating your food the fuck are you trying to say? I'm 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 saying I value your your your, your, your skills, Steve. You're great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, where's this go? Um, keep some around. Keep some around. All right, cool. We'll keep some around. I'm just kind of putting these randomly. I mean, like I really don't know. Ooh, I think it's time for another drink. I'll be right back. All right. Um, next up we got. What is this? Extra virgin olive oil. Um, which uh, we'll wait for Steve to get back and catch up with chat a little bit. Um, Spooky says, think a bank would give me five and a half K if I go in with a gun. I think they will. And then because they're trained to do that and then they'll call the cops on you. That's like kind of how that works. Someone selling the black Spider-Man suit from Spider-Man 3 for five and a half K. And I think it would be cool to wear. Spooky. <laughs> what are we doing? Spooky's um, Spooky's gonna rob a bank so he can afford the black Spider-Man suit from Spider-Man Three. It's a pretty good reason to rob a bank. It's not the worst reason if you're gonna do it. <sighs> All right. Um. Next up, we got extra virgin olive oil. Oh yeah, no, I put that shit on everything. Absolutely everything. I'll drink shots of it. Really? I mean, no. we, we use this to cook a lot. Yeah, I've never known it to be like I condiment like salad sometimes or like on subs. I um, guess on subs, but I'm not making a whole lot of subs in my kitchen. That's true. I usually go out if I want a sub. I don't. I don't like the texture of oil. I will use it to lubricate things, but like as a topping, I do not like it actually, and would rather have a dry sandwich. Hmm. So as in the context of as a topping, sink. Sink. And then pay for the sink to be cleaned. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with that. I mean like, you know, I um I think it's great to cook with, but yeah. I like I wouldn't pour it on my cereal. Alright. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the photo makes it look janky. Yeah, this it doesn't have the best uh Oh, we're talking about the memes chat. Okay, hold on. Guys, go to the memes chat really quickly. <laughs> it does look really janky. It does look really janky. The Spider Man suit. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. It's funny. Wow, I'm sorry. It just looks like one of those like crappy Spider-Man <laughs> memes. Like AI-generated Spider-Man suit. Yeah. Oh gosh. All right. Oh, Oof. that is unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Next up is hell of a good. What is this? French onion. Oh, Dip. hell of a good is like the cheese spread. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um French onion sour cream dip. I personally oh. like their, um, it's not port wine, it's something else, P pimento. They have a pimento spread that I really enjoy. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can literally just put that shit on a sandwich and just call it a pimento cheese sandwich. All right. Mm. This one I think is, uh, in particular, the French onion kind. That's not bad, it's good dip. Good dip? I've never had it. I've never had it either, but like... It's these French onion, I you know, it's... Well, well, we can keep it dry. Keep some around. We can keep some around. That's fine. It's gonna go bad before you finish it, but yeah. I'm having this above horseradish at least. All right, what's this? What do we got next? 
Oyster sauce. Oyster that sauce. Is, you, that is something you cook with specifically. If you ever put this raw on a sandwich, <laughs> you are a sick human being. Is it going um, in the sink? You could, no, you could like dip fried dumplings into it or something like that. Okay, but I, yeah. I agree with Steve that it's generally a component, but you could. It's with hoisin sauce though. Okay. Wherever we put hoisin sauce, they should be next to one another. But I do think oyster sauce would probably be my preference between the two if I was gonna if I had to pick one. Spooky says it's pronounced uh well now Worcestershire. I'm a... <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire Worcestershire. 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 Horseradish. Worcestershire. Chornthu says Worcestershire. We're, Get out. We're, we're, whooper. All right. Whooper sauce. Anyway. Um, all right. So that can go next to that, I suppose. Worcester. Worcester. War, Worcester. Worcester. Ooh, that sounds like a fun little Worcester. That sounds like, yeah, it does sound like a bard class. That's cool. I like that. Worcester. Worcester. Mm. Dibs. Anyway. <laughs> Ace of Kings. Is that Connor? That is Connor. Hello, beautiful. Connor, good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in forever. I think last time I saw you was back when I used to work at the tool store. How you doing, oh, man? <clears throat> Friend of ours. Uh, um, it's been it's been a long time. Um, he uh, he used to play magic with us and uh, would hang out at uh, Friendsgiving from time to time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> good to see you. Good to hear from you, man. Hope you're doing all right. So he mm -hmm. says he says watch your sister sauce. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I like it. Next up, Jif creamy peanut butter. Um, it's a table table. There's no co there's no um, competition. I love peanut butter. I I, I, I I'm, agree. I'm ready to put this on everything, but I can accept top a table staple. Um, yep. That like yep. peanut butter is just good. Now, what do you fellows think of chunky peanut butter? No, I always take creamy. Um, <laughs> give it a choice. I will choose creamy. Mm -hmm. Ten out of ten times, if I get a choice. Um, but is, is chunky peanut butter better than dry? No. Yeah. Really? I actually, I actually do like chunky peanut butter sometimes. If if creamy is not an option. So here's kind chunky of where I'm... peanut butter makes my mouth dry in general. Well, yeah, I mean, like it's that kind of dry that milk kind of doesn't do that. fix. Like, texture good. Texture good. So, okay. I like chunky peanut butter, and I know that makes me a little bit of an outlier. Like, I will actively seek it out. I will like to have both in the house so I can have a choice. But here's the difference, okay? If I'm having a sandwich that's just peanut butter and bread, like, chunky is the way to go for me. Milk helps. Um, but, like, it gives a little bit of texture that you wouldn't normally have. But if I'm having peanut butter, like, with something like maybe on a cracker or like a bagel or like a toast or something like that. I can still do, I can still do chunky, but I think I prefer creamy in that case because the texture is coming from the other thing. You know what I mean? Like toast will be a little crunchy or like a cracker. I'm going to be, be I'm going to be real with you. You do have me thinking about uh crunchy peanut butter on an English muffin. That's ooh that's maybe awesome. bizarre. I'm gonna do it. No, that's not that bizarre. I've done it. It's good. I've done it. I've definitely mm -hmm. had that before. Peanut butter is great. I hate English muffins in general. They're just. Do you really? People I, I can get too like stale. Textures of English muffins. They're just the dry bung of bread. I don't understand. What <laughs> People the, let them get too stale before throwing them out. <laughs> no, you, wait. Even when they're fresh, it's just dry, like very grainy, very wheaty bread. Oh, when you so, toast it, okay. though. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't forget to toast them, do you? Because they're they suck unless you toast them. No, I toast them. I just don't enjoy them. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. And as for you always reaching for peanut butter, that definitely explains why there is a whole jar of crunchy of chunky peanut butter in the cabinet for a whole year. They're untouched. You know why? Because we can't keep bread is why. It's not because <laughs> We have spoons. Don't make up excuses. No, it's I, I it's also because it's in the cabinet, which means I don't see it every day, which means I haven't thought about it in a year. Um uh -huh. but like you know but like it's it's in large part because we can't keep bread. Uh huh. Jorinthu says, I'm weird. I don't like chunky peanut butter, but I will put peanut butter and cashew pieces in a wrap. That sounds good too. 
That sounds pretty that good. That does sound that does sound really, really good. Connor Some banana says, too, uh, which Liam wouldn't touch, but I would love. I like, I don't, no, I don't like banana, but you know, that's fine. Uh Connor says, I did PB and Jelly Sammy with Egos yesterday. Ooh, alright. Alright, cool. That sounds really, really good. Cool, cool. Alright, peanut butter's great. Uh next up is salsa, which is uh beloved of many people around the world. And that's I not salsa, that's Pico de Gallo. Oh, you're right. It is. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Which also is not for me. I, I like it. I love it. All right. Where are we putting it, boys? I would put this on everything. Um, I don't feel so strong. I'm with keep some around, but I would, could be convinced to table staple. It just, it's so much to make. And it's one of those things that you want fresh, right? Making yeah, a lot absolutely. of it's not really an option, so there's kind of a lot of effort that goes into making it, and rarely does that justify it. But I do like it. It goes good with chicken, beef, steak, fish. It's just something that you can toss on a burrito or like dip with chips. It's, it's, it's good. Yeah. All right. Or even you can put it on an omelet. It's fucking great. I'll concede. You guys can. You guys can have it. I'm, I'm not gonna, not gonna have it. <clears throat> oh, here's the ranch. Here's the regular ranch. Bottom of keep some around. You think so? Fuck. Um, all right, no, I'll put it above the uh, the hoisin sauce. That's fair. Yeah. I maybe I I maybe would push it even a little higher and keep some around, but like it, it's not table staple. Ranch ranch is like the kind of thing that I will eat, but I'm not gonna go for it. Like if we're having pizza, you know how pe people dip pizza and ranch, right? Anna, Anna loves yeah. it. <laughs> some people do that. I will not do that. But if you got, if you spill some ranch on my piece of pizza, I'm still gonna eat it. You know, like I'm not gonna be like, oh no. But it's it's gonna be like, all right, it's fine. Ooh, I'm gonna drink those a little too quick. I'm feeling a little buzzed. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> Jack um, and I still do that to you. It's oh, true, boy. It's true. We're talking about um, linguistics in the chat. I like this. I like this energy. <clears throat> All right. Uh, sweet relish from Heinz. Uh, no, not for me. Sink. Sink. Mixes into stuff. I'll put it on hot dogs. I'll put it on burgers. I, I won't. I won't. I would refuse that. The, this is this is the devil's lettuce. It's like I the cannot. Bad. I, I am. I am legally not allowed to put it any lower than keep some around here when I have two kinds of relish in my fridge right now. There's nothing to relish about it. That's the thing. It's slimy. It's chunky. It's green. It's very unappealing. <laughs> yeah, pickle. no, none of that is none of that is good for me. Yeah, no. Where, if I where would you put it? Like a pickle, I eat a fucking pickle, Sean. True. That's fair. I don't want diced pickle slime on my they sandwich serve, or my burger. They serve or my different hot dog. purposes and they mix in with sauces to make good aioli, similar to like coarse radish. No. So where do you put um, it, Sean? Where would you put it? And we can average it out. Um, it's it's at least keeps them around. No. So all right, Steve and I are both ready to put it in the sink. So maybe we put it in like low, better than dry. No. If if chunky if chunky blue cheese had to go and pour in the sink because two people d delegated that way, <laughs> then I say this belongs. In you the know sink what? That's a fair argument. I mean, yeah, I think that that's a, pretty that fair. That's a fair, short that's a fair and compelling argument. <laughs> I, will I accept. I think that's fair. I, would I think personally that's fair. put it higher, but I accept. Six. Yeah. No, I no. You're right. You're absolutely you're correct. Right. In fairness, you are correct. Yeah. All right. I got my I got my commands. <clears throat> it's fine. What is this one? Uh, this one is Russian dressing. Oh, I like Russian dressing. That's actually sure. nice. Goes on sandwiches, goes on salads. Uh, yeah. Can can dip chicken into it. Oh, absolutely. I would easily say keep some around. All right. Bottom. Um, so up by like the ranch or less. I haven't had it frequently enough or liked it enough to put it so high. But yeah, sure. I can see it. All right. I think that's fine then. <laughs> it's like around. It's like ab above the uh, the hoisin oyster sauce. I yeah. think. All right. The fuck works. is this? Cream corn? Sour sauerkraut? Sauerkraut. <laughs> sauerkraut. Better than Nine. dry. I will. Okay. So my relationship with sauerkraut kind of sucks. When I want it, yes, it's good. When I most, like 80% of the time, otherwise, nah. I really got to be craving it to act. I will not it. go out of my way for it either. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that... So maybe this goes like really low, better than dry. This is low, better than dry. At yeah. That. yeah. Like you got it. You got to be in the mood for it and it's got to be available and it's got to not suck. All right. Wow, I love this chat. We're talking about we're talking about you know the evolution of languages. English comes from uh, 
the Gales, Normanic, and Norse languages. <laughs> We've got talking about how if we keep going back into the rabbit hole of things, everything comes from Sumerian. We've, we're talking about how English was a thing before William the Conqueror. Love this. This is cool. We should be talking about this. <laughs> wow, I feel like I'm back in David Bordelin's college class. Uh, he no, he wasn't. He didn't. He didn't do all that That's stuff. Where I learned all of it from. He really? Oh, you took some etymology. classes with him that I didn't. He was my etymology teacher. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, can you imagine how oh. annoying it is listening to that man talk yeah. about the dissection of words he, and where they come from? We ha yeah, so we were talking about a very specific college professor that we both had who was very intelligent, but was insistent that you know that. <laughs> yeah, he was oh, kind oh, of oh, a <laughs> word I'm looking for. Um, jackass of all three. <laughs> <laughs> wow, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I got to take linguistics with, um, with somebody else who was, um, a lot more, uh, palatable. I, I would say, um, he knew his stuff. That's for sure. But I mean, was just kind of a pain about it. All right. Oh my God. If you didn't know Latin in that class, it was your greatest downfall because he would start the class off with do nows that required you to understand the Latin lexicon. Really? And it was just, yeah, no, it was advanced. It was AP etymology, dude. I could have easily been a comms major. Um, no, this, this guy did not fucking let up and he would be the kind of person that would give you straight fucking zeros. If you didn't understand how to recite Latin, like back of your hand. Hmm. All right. Fucking hard for me, man. Being a fucking ADHD spaz. Like, I'm just like wondering, no me ete lote. I'm just like, fuck. Dang. All right. You had it rough. I just had him for like regular English, I think. And he was. Nah, he sucked. Anyway, <clears throat> sour cream. Good. Actually, no. Um, it's hidden behind my mug, but like, it's uh, next up is pure sesame seed oil. Or right, sesame well, oil. Suck. Can you can you fix that? Well, I'm, I'm, I, I try to zoom in it, so you can see it. I just. He's zooming back out. It's fine. Uh, out. It mixes into cool? stuff. This is never something I'm going to use as a topping by itself. <clears throat> no, I, I usually cook stuff in this. I usually as a use topping? This as like, yeah. As a topping, though, sink. Sink. Same, yeah, no, same as be, like olive oil. Too, yeah. It would just be too strong. It would be overpowering. Agree. Yeah. Hard, hard on. agree. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair That's enough. like a substitute for olive oil. Right. Right. It's like something you, you get cook something with that you nice, really... like, smoky sesame flavor. Sour like cream. Use... Yeah. Sour cream, I would definitely keep some around. I use that as a I... good binder. For me, this is up flavor. here with like with like gravy. Like, you know, this is like good on potatoes. It's good on like burritos. It's good on. I would like... honestly even go table staple, actually. I I could I could see it. I don't want to put it above gravy, is the thing for me. But. Ugh. but... Does that mean gravy's better? I think gravy is better. For me, gravy would be a table staple, but we, you know, we, we're averaging this stuff out. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. All right. Sour cream's fine there. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I, 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 I do like it. It's not, it's not my go-to all the time, but it's like, you know, if we're getting, if we're getting, you know, like burritos or something, or if we're doing like, or like, like, you know, you get, you go to steakhouse, you get like one of those like fully loaded baked potatoes big old dollop of sour cream yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I'm, all yeah, yeah. About, I'm all about that that's really good i didn't for a long time i was just like oh no but i but i do like sour cream why do you have normal gravy i thought american gravy was lumpy and white uh, well we have there both. are two kinds of gravy yeah uh that's lumpy and white is the good kind of gravy that's the mind. like that country is, gravy that's country gravy is which what that is. i also that's like cool. but i think i like the brown gravy a little better i have never had good uh, country sausage gravy like it's only mm. it's never been like fresh made by somebody ever oh okay so they have my some good stuff is out not in... high but that's because of lack of exposure they everything. have they have some good stuff out in cincy that you could try mm. i should right. i should do that next up is a uh, kikaman soy sauce yeah i'd probably I, I put that shit on rice yeah i think this is good to keep around yeah it's fine it's good on a lot of stuff and it's good to a lot around. of other sauces yeah um like I wouldn't always like put this, but this is also good for like the like dipping on it. Like you know, if you have dumplings or if you have yeah, yeah, yeah. like shrimp or whatever else, you can dip it in there just fine. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, next up is is this sriracha? Yeah, I think it's it sriracha. I've never had, I've never had sriracha. 
I surprisingly don't like Sriracha as much as I think either it's the right kind, which is the uh, the one with the rooster on it, but they currently, they recently went out of business and stopped selling that shit. Really? And all the imitations of it are just disgustingly garlicky, in my opinion. Mm. I've I mean, never had it. Generally agree. It looks like the kind of thing that's probably too hot for me. <laughs> I still have sure? the good stuff in my fridge currently. Uh, it keeps them around. <laughs> All right, um, we can keep some around. We can keep it around. That's fine. Um, Steve uh, says it's kind of on the decline a little bit. Uh, real quick, Spooky says, um, I have a question about Batman. How would Batman solve the trolley problem? Uh, uh, how, how much prep would... time does he have? <laughs> and Chorathu says, says yeah, how much prep time does he have? That's such a good answer to that. Um, he would save them both <laughs> because he's Batman. Uh, I, I was gonna say he'd probably try. He'd probably try to get them both. Whether or not you could. Well, here's the thing. Batman's code is that he can't kill, so he would just have to save them both, or else he's failing his own moral obligation. Well, but Batman's not. I'm Batman's not, sure not always because there's. I think there's a difference between killing someone and failing to save someone, right? Like you're yeah, not okay. responsible here, for their death if. <laughs> Okay, I've, I've shushed for 10 seconds. Say what you want to say. Here, here's how it's going to work. Batman's going to come to the train tracks. Joker's playing that fucking trick. It's like, you have to save one, but the other dies. And Batman's just like, okay, hang on. And then he goes back to the Justice League Watchtower, opens up the wormhole, gets a second Batman from Earth 2, which is actually his father, Thomas Wayne, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> so he gets Thomas Wayne Batman and fucking goes back and they both save him. And then he goes back to his universe and Batman saves the day. All right, that's how that fucking works. That's the DC universe in a nutshell. That is okay, kind of how that would go, huh? Strawberry syrup. All right. <laughs> I've never had this. I've never had the strawberry syrup. I feel like it'd be the kind of thing that's like too much, though. You know, that's just a vibe. I have no idea. Has anyone had this? I've had it before. It's really sweet. It's like very artificial. It's not like yeah. the worst thing in the world. Um. You can put it, like, you could, same way you can do, like, a black and white shake, you could do, like, the fake strawberry shake. It's mm. fine. Fake shake. You know? All right. So, like, maybe around, maybe around regular Hershey's? Because it's probably used for the lower. same kind of things. Maybe a little lower? Probably a little lower. I don't think that it quite gets to keep some around. I think it's still better than dry. Might All be right. better than French's yellow mustard. Fair mm. enough. Fair enough. I gotta stop drinking these sugary fucking boozes. <sighs> You gonna be all right? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. It's just the same feeling I got when I drank meat and fucking. Oh, Jack you get that honey. rock in your stomach? Yeah, man. All right. It's I, listen. I can drink fucking a twelver of fucking Miller like it's nobody's problem. It's just creek water in a can. But anytime I put something fruity in my body, it just sits at my stomach. Well, don't they I, say like oh, sugar and alcohol is like a bad mix? I don't fucking know, but it feels like that somebody just poured like a gallon of syrup in the bottom of my fucking oh. intestines. All right. Ugh. All right. Well, gonna, get I'm ready to gonna shit real bad or fart real bad. Either way, it's going on stream. Great, cool. Good can't can't God. wait. Uh, in the meantime, pour some Tabasco sauce on that mess. What do you think? Yeah, Tabasco fucking all the way. Put that shit on everything. Absolutely. I hate Tabasco. You fucking bitch. I hate Tabasco. Too much vinegar for me. I would rather not have hot sauce, honestly. It's <laughs> Chipotle Tabasco specifically. <laughs> sure, ch but this is not Chipotle Tabasco. This is regular Tabasco. I. Chipotle Tabasco is fine. This is probably will, not for me. I will keep some around. Regular Tabasco? Garbage. Terrible. Don't want it. Uh, <sighs> so this is not for me. Um, Steve says put it on everything. I. I probably won't I'm okay touch with this just stuff. Keeping some around. We can keep it around. We can keep it around. It's the more realistic answer. Yeah. I know. I know, Steve. I know. But what? You're. I, I know that you really love it and you want it to be higher. But no, that's not why I'm breathing. I'm just. I got. Oh, you're just pain. okay. Okay. He's I'm dying. Dying over here. It's fun. Got it. All right. Well. <clears throat> well Tabasco. Let, let, let me know if you need. Just, let me know if you need an assist. I am oh my under God. my desk right now. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh. Tabasco. Isn't that the thing Homer made by breeding tobacco and tomatoes? That's tobacco. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's tobacco. It's tomatoes and tobacco. Next up is... And then is, Ralph uh... Wiggum eats it, and he goes, this tastes like grandma. And then Officer Wiggum eats it, and he's like, you're right. It does taste like grandma. Give me more. What? This is I, canon. This is I, the I, I, I believe you. I just, it's weird. All right. Um, teriyaki, for me, this is up with uh, Baby Ray's. I love teriyaki yeah, sauce. Yeah, you can put teriyaki on that shit for fuck you. I'm, I'm not generally a fan of it. It's better than dry. <laughs> I will concede, though. I don't feel very strongly about it. I just won't touch it. Fair enough. All things being equal. Fair enough. Uh, we can, you know, we can put it down a little bit for, for Sean's sake, I think. Um, but I really love teriyaki sauce. I, I like things mm. cooked in it. I like putting it on things. I've had it on burgers. I've had it on, you know, um, wraps, just uh, meat that's like cooked in it or I'll fried right in it. Back. It's good on steaks, I think. Yeah, okay, good luck, Steve. <clears throat> um, big fan of teriyaki. All right. The yeah, heck is this? Fair. What's the next uh, thing? I have no idea. Texas chili sauce? Texas Pete's hot sauce. I've not had uh, this. I don't know what to do with this. It's better than Tabasco. It's fine. Whatever. Better than Tabasco, better, you say? Uh, I think it's better than Tabasco. Steve is probably going to disagree with that, but it's probably only better than dry, though. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Mm. All right. Well, we can put it around here for now, and then like, if Steve wants to bump it up, we can ask him when he comes back. Hopefully he's okay. Sure. Hopefully he's not yeah. just barfing in the bathroom. Um. Uh, all right. Isn't Frank's red hot slogan literally, I put that on everything? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, hey, in this group, despite the fact that I won't touch it, made it all the way up to table staple, so that's pretty good. Um, ready whip. I'm table a fan. staple. I'm a fan. It's good. I'm a fan. Sweet stuff. This is my little corner yeah. up here, top of table staple. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda, huh? Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There, I, as far as I've found, there's not a whole lot of um, variants within um, whipped cream. Whipped cream is just kind of whipped cream. Like, I guess Cool Whip is different, but Cool Whip is still also pretty good. You know? Yeah. Dessert, Dessert condiment, condiment staple. staple? Definitely on, not on non-desserts. Yeah. Is it's there anything? Like waff waffles? <sighs> Pancakes? You could. Are about? Those uh, are, like, arguably dessert adjacent. Like but... canned whipped cream? Yeah, I would put that on pancakes for sure. Yeah, table staple, I think. Um, wh how do you feel, uh, Steve, about... We, we kind of went through this one. How do you feel about um, Texas Pete's hot sauce? Uh, not as good as the rest of the hot sauce. That's kind of where we were watery. at, yeah. It's too vinegary and too watery. It's like... There's a reason they served it in the college food court. It's because it's cheap. Fair enough. <laughs> ah. You good, man? Uh-huh. All right. All right, next up is Heinz sauce. I didn't even know Heinz made that. I thought they just did fucking ketchup. They make 20% more. All right. Well, um, way too far in. Sure. It's like fine. I've never had this. Better, better than dry. It's not. It's. I don't know if I've ever had it either, actually. Hmm. I've only used it for cooking. I've had other Worcestershire sauces, but not this. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. We can just put it down there, I suppose. Um, let's see. Uh, Jorinthu says, I mean, pancakes are cake, so I put it in the dessert umbrella, at least close enough for government work. Heinz make 57 varieties of sauce. It's been on their branding forever. I guess you're right. They do kind of do that. Heinz 57. Heinz 57, oh. that's right. I always thought it was a year. I always thought it was like, you know making sauce since 57 but I don't... so you're saying that if they make another sauce it'll be Heinz 58 don't know don't know um mm. all right next up is yum yum sauce i don't know what that is oh that's like a asian sauce isn't it uh, yeah this is it's similar to the japanese what, steak the chicken one? shrimp sauce it's good decent. this is keeps them around all right cool cool uh yeah we'll put it up here with the garlic parmesan and the ranch and whatever the taco sauce cool i think the 57 has rotated through the years okay so maybe they rotate some out i don't know that's a good research project maybe all right we got one more in ken's zesty italian sauce What's zesty that? italians i i think same thing as the balsamic i roasted i've marinated chicken in it but i don't think i've ever used it on the sandwich or some shit hmm 
What do you think, Sean? Uh, similar. Where did we put that? Where did we put that? Probably better than dry, honestly. All right. We'll put it around. I don't have a strong enough opinion to put it higher. Fair enough. Okay. So that means we have a complete tier list. Put it on everything. We got Heinz tomato ketchup and uh, Ken's honey mustard. Pretty. Get on with it. I mean, there's probably a reason that these are so like universally loved, right? Like they're just, they're, they're pretty, pretty solid. Then we got a bunch of sweet stuff at the top of the table staple. Jif peanut butter, Aunt Jemima's uh, uh, syrup, ready whip, sweet baby rays. And then we got red hot sauce, teriyaki, and pico de gallo to round it out. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff to keep some around. But some highlights are like gravy, sour cream, and sweet and sour sauce. Um, with, <laughs> with the mashed potatoes here at the bottom. Better than dry is a lot of those things that like you would maybe cook stuff with sort of. And maybe put on something, but not really. And then pour it in the sink. We've got, <laughs> we've got, um, um, I don't remember what this is. The, the sesame oil or the sesame sauce, the, um, olive oil, the tostito salsa, the chunky ranch or the chunky blue cheese and the sweet relish. A lot of chunks down in pour it in the sink, which I think I have a hand in. <laughs> Perhaps I would believe it. All right, so there you have it, folks. Um, that's gonna be our uh, that's gonna be our thing, um, but that's not the end of the stream for today. We do have dessert to think about. Um, we do have dessert to think about. We After we've had all of about. these sauces in one mug together, there's take, more. Take it a large, hearty swig. We do. But oh. wait, there's but more. Wait, there's more. <laughs> um, so there's another uh, there's another tier list for us. We're gonna be talking about cookies. In order to get to the next tier list, you have to put your parents' credit card number in the chat. No, 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 no. We're not doing Please that. Don't. Call one eight hundred. Steve, do not get us kicked off the air, please. Do it now. Nerd. No, I don't. Peer I don't. pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. You want us to financially succeed, don't you? You want more good content? Get out Give of us here. your credit card numbers. Steve, please, please. Uh, let, disclaimer let us... for the FBI agent that is listening to this Twitch stream. That is a bit, that <laughs> I is know my FBI agent. His name is Paul. He That's, knows all the stuff I look up in Liam, tell computer. us about All right, it's time for list. cookies. Uh, we need some new names for the cookies, um, for the cookie, uh, for the cookie, cookie tiers. tiers. Let's have five tiers again. I think that's a pretty good way to do it. Um, uh... I don't know. Um, how about uh, I don't know. Should we just do let? Should we do like scrumptious? No. No. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. I I I don't think I've ever used that word. I like, dislike naturally. The way that word is used. I hate that. <laughs> mm, I don't think I've ever heard anyone actually say it, but now hearing it, I don't. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. What should we call it? Um. Yum. Wow. Yum. I don't know, I feel like that's a little. Is Yum, is yum the highest tier? Is that intense? Is this is this dessert every night tier? Dessert we'll every eat... night. We'll easily eat the entire pack. Full uh, sleeve kind of night. <laughs> full sleeve night. All right. Okay. Hold on. Full send. That's what you're writing down. Full send. <laughs> full sleeve night. All right. Uh, a is uh, anytime. B is gonna be is gonna be like you know. Treat myself to a couple. All right. Treat myself to a few. Uh, C is like. I'll just have one. On the right occasion. Something like that. Sure. On the right occasion. Uh, and um, D for dumpster. Dumpster tier, dumpster. Yeah, sure. I don't think any dumpster. No, I think Steve's excellent. right. I think Steve's right. And there's, there's no, there's really not that many bad cookies. Um, there are some bad cookies. There are some I bad think. cookies. Um, I don't know if they're cookie, necessarily like, on this list. Sean, but there are name some bad, bad cookie cookies. right now. Um, what is it? I don't He's know what it's called, it. but it's, it's like the, uh, it's there are two. There's the um, soft store bought sugar cookies with the awful Technicolor frosting like on top like and this. the sprinklers, sprinklers, <laughs> sprinkles. Um, and it's the uh, like Italian like three layer cookies that have. Like, oh, I don't like those either. 
Yeah, like the pistachio and the pink and the and chocolate. the brown ones. Yeah. Yeah. The ones are fantastic. You no, are stinky parent. bad. No, also, I don't like those either. Your girlfriend loves those store bought sugar cookies, so all I gotta do is message her, and she'll be up your No, it's your fine. My partner loves them, but she doesn't do the shopping. <laughs> Anna, I need you to fucking bag them right now. I'll buy them for her, I don't care, but I'm not gonna get them. You need to smack him until he gets it right. Oh, gotta get the St. Patrick's Day themed uh, ones. Oh, uh, just wait and I'll get the pink Easter themed ones. Your ch ch <laughs> like heathens, all of you. All right, we'll have to we'll have to go through this one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, all right. How about say we'll do left on the table. Sure. We'll do left on the table. Um, all right. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. We got Lee. Okay. This one, I feel like I'm gonna be a lot more participatory because I, I, I'm a plain, I'm a plain squid that eats a lot of uh, not sauce, but I do love me some cookies. Mm. Um, all right. First up, we got Milano. Those uh, classic, you know, kind of oval shaped soap bar shaped cookies with the chocolate in the middle. I love these. I'll eat these anytime. These are, these are anytime. These are anytime tier. They're not my first choice. I'll eat them. Pepperidge Farm cookies uh, are generally pretty high tier for me. Yeah, they're usually pretty good. No sink. No, we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not sinking the cookies. The floor on cookies is a lot higher than, than, <laughs> than, than condiments, only... I think. Listen, I'm underneath the table right now and I'm going to fucking say this shit. The only time cookies belong in the sink is if the sink is full. Is if the sink is full of what? Milk. All right. <laughs> yeah. But it, better, but it better be a clean sink, because if there's any, if there's any forbidden soup at the bottom of that drain oh. catcher, I don't want any yeah. milk in there. All right. No, I'm good without the Jersey Turnpike cookies. All right. Wait, what's <laughs> I, think, I think ah! Milano's off. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> All right, I think uh, um, Milano cookies. I'll eat them anytime. They, I can I hear an argument for them being a little dry. I understand that if that's your stance, but that just makes they go better. That just means they go better with milk. Um, I can agree. I think you like them more than I do, but they're still pretty, pretty good. They're still pretty good. Yeah, uh, Nilla wafers. Nilla wafers. Go ahead. Didn't we do this on the last cookie tier list? We didn't do a cookie tier list on stream. We talked about it instead of D&D &D one night a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. But we didn't actually, like, make, like, a tier list on stream, so we're doing this now. Um, and I'll, also, I don't remember what we said back then. So, you know, we got a fresh take. Um, Nilla wafers, I feel like they get... I feel like they're a little underrated. They're, like, pretty good, and they're not, like, super heavy, and they don't have, like, a lot, a lot of chocolate. You can eat, like, a, a, a couple of these and not feel too crummy. And um, I also think I've seen people make, like, um, like pudding with, and, like, put these in it to be, like, little crunchy stuff. So you can have, like, a vanilla pudding with these. I'm kind of a fan. I really like them, actually. I think this is one of the few cookies that I have actually eaten a full box of in one night. <laughs> What do you think of Nilla Wafer, Steve? I'm indifferent. I'm, they're not my favorite. I think I'd probably put them, like, treat myself to a few. I think I don't like them as much as Milano, but I feel like a lot of people look at those and go, oh, plain. But I really like them. I love them. I would put them higher. Mm. I, can, I will concede. I can but... maybe put them there, but we'll, we'll see. Well, I think we'll put them there for now and then, and then see where we go. Um, I feel like I feel like I don't want to like overvalue too many cookies because they're all pretty, you know, they're, just, they're, they're all cookies, pretty good. So, yeah. We're being hypercritical. Yeah. Um, golden Oreos is like yeah, a weird fine. place to start for Oreos. Give me some. I haven't had these in a really long time. I think I think they're OK. I think I'd eat them on the right occasion. But like if I'm if I'm in the Oreo aisle, it's like mm, there's like two or three other. They're kinds rarely of my first choice. Yeah, rarely my 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 first choice. Torrentu says I wouldn't buy Nilla wafers over other cookies, but if they're in the house, I mean the whole box in like three days. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that. I think I think there's an okay place for golden Oreos. They're not bad, but they're not great. And I, there's many other types of Oreos that I would like to have before them. I think. Um, double stuff Oreos. 
they're all right. They're a bit overhyped, in my opinion. I'm I'm an Oreo cream hater, so I will. Oh, because for me, that's have... a full sleeve night. I love uh, double stuffed Oreos, yeah. and. So, so you know, the way that I eat Oreos, as, as you guys know, because you always give me grief for it, oh, is I, I put the fork tines <laughs> in the cream and then dunk it in the milk that way so I don't have to get my fingers all wet. Um, <laughs> um, and you can't – it's very difficult to do that with regular Oreos without, like, cracking them or splitting them up. Double stuff is the way to go with that. That You got to have the double stuff at least in order to do that properly. Ah, full sleeve night. I love them. Oreos are so good. And I can't eat them that much because they're made of chocolate. It makes me upset because I love Oreos. Good. Wow. Um, One less evil to what a, be what a strong, What a strong love. I do. I, I, I really like them. I like, really like them. I don't know, man. Like, they're not my jam, <laughs> but I can appreciate your passion for them. I know. For you. I'll, prob love. I'll probably eat, like, one or two and then um, decide, mm, that's enough Oreos. But obviously they don't go here because this is not just my list. So, Sean, are you going to leave them on the table? Uh, no, I'm not going to leave them on the table. I think I, I would have a few. They're fine. They're not my favorite. I, I appreciate your passion. Uh, what do you think, Steve? You're kind of indifferent? Oreos are... Uh, I would leave these on the table. These would be like, I, I have one, I'm like, hmm, and then I forget it. Oh, man. Mm. All right. So then maybe maybe it ends up here. Oh, wait, wait. These are double stuff, not golden. Wait, wait. These wait. are double stuff. These are double stuff. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Treat myself to a few. All right, I think we can probably leave it here then. I think that's fine. I, I'll concede. I love them, but I, but you know, we gotta balance things out, of course. Um, mint Oreos, I also really like. These are top tier for me. Um, mint Oreos are like these are really easy to eat by themselves, and oh, my favorite, my favorite um, type of ice cream is mint chip, mint cookie, mint chip cookies and cream. Mm. Um. Uh, Joe Enthusiast is hard to deny the power of the Oreo when an entire iconic flavor of desserts exists as an Oreo knockoff. It's still, hold on. I, it still blows my mind that cookies and cream as a flavor was literally just companies wanting to make Oreo ice cream without making a deal with Nabisco. Yeah, it's super good. Um, mint Oreos are amazing. They go really, really well with milk. Um, just like regular Oreos. Um, they're a little harder to do the fork thing with, but I will, I will dunk my fingers for mint Oreos. That's fine. Full sleeve night. Full sleeve. <laughs> um, next up, we've got these um, wafer things. Um, oh, those are the uh, yeah yeah yeah. The I fucking I'll fuck with those anytime. They're a little uh, dry for me. These are nostalgic for me, especially the pink ones. I would go to so as a child, I would always go to grandma's house because she lived like you know i would ride my bike there with my cousin mike mm -hmm. and she would always have these fucking cookies in her cabinet <laughs> like nothing else it was just these so we would get fucking apple juice drunk on juice boxes and we would just eat a shit ton of these cookies <laughs> and watch prices right in the afternoon these cookies have such a nostalgic trip with me that i would probably sell a digit just to get like a full sleeve wow how do you feel about them sean uh, they're not for me. Texture bad. I, Wimp. I, I Wimp. actually kind of like the, the, the texture for these. It's not the best, but you definitely can go <laughs> in a kind of fun way. Um, I, I, they're a little odd for me. I, I would normally have them on the right occasion. Um, where would you put them, Steve? Anytime. Anytime. What do you think, Sean? They're, they're, you leave these on the table? Uh, I'll leave these on the table, yeah. So I think we can treat ourselves to a few. I think that that might be where it ends up. I think that might be where it ends up. Um, but uh, points for the uh, points for the childhood memory, Steve. I like that. Um, Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I'm I'm I, I'm, I'm being genuine. I really I'm am being genuine. You. To who? Twitch. Cool. All right, Fig Newtons. Um, I haven't had one of these in a long time. Mm, have a few. These are heavy, right? You eat like two of these and you go, oh, I've eaten food. These are dense. Yeah. They're very dense. They're not bad. They're not bad. What do you think of Fig Newtons, Sean? Um, I liked them less when I was a kid. As an adult, they're fine. I'm really not going to go out of my way for them. But if I'm like attacking my mom's and she's got like those little tiny like four packs or whatever, it's like, 
All right, yeah, whatever. I'll eat a fig Newton. Yeah. It's fine. So maybe like on the right occasion. On the right occasion. I can't stop looking at the picture that was posted in the meme chat of the Spider-Man suit. <laughs> it's really janky. It's like, really janky. <laughs> Listen, you know the person that's buying that fucking suit ain't gonna fit in that suit, but they're still no. gonna try to put it on. They're gonna do the J. Jonah Jameson, and they're gonna be like, <laughs> "It's so goofy looking." Oh my gosh! <laughs> if you haven't, if you if you're not part of our Discord, you can scroll down and and hit the button and join us and look at this stupid Spider Man. Join the Discord, or else you're not obligated by any means. But that is where we post stupid no, memes, and Liam you get notifications for stream. Liam's not going to ob obligate you by any. I will <laughs> join. It's it's really dumb looking, and it looks like it looks like mostly normal. It's like mostly fine, and then the face is like. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh Dialy's talking about the uh, the Italian wafer cookie. Says my parents call them styrofoam lovingly. And Charanthu says, um, I can and have bought full bags of them from an Italian grocery store and eaten them in a day. Yeah, those those are, they're also light. You can go through this quick. <sighs> All right. So now we got the Royal Dansk, the um, the ones that like come in the tins that you open up and it's sewing supplies instead of cookies. But these are the cookies that it originally those. comes with. These are really good. These are really good. These are basically shortbread, is what these are. Yeah. Um, and while I do kind of prefer my, my own family's like homemade shortbread, I, I mean, you know, obviously that's just a me thing, you know, as the, as the kind of like widely available variant, I can have these anytime. These yeah, are, anytime. these are really good with milk. These are really good with milk. <clears throat> um, all right. Pretty easy one, I think. Pretty easy one. I mean, the disappointment for opening it up and seeing sewing supplies is because you were so excited to see the cookies, you know? All right. If there were sewing supplies in it to begin with, then it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nutter butter. So I have some feelings about nutter butter. Nutter butter really has really gone down in the ranks for me in the past couple of months because of their Instagram page. Oh, they have like really weird cursed advertisements on there don't if they if you want to see some fucked up content on instagram <laughs> just look up another <coughs> main page i well, swear no, to god it. it's do it right now right, take five no minutes. for real it's like something out of adult swim it's like it's like you're watching adult swim at 2 a.m and you're like what it, am i looking at listen i will i will plead the fifth i have been high at fucking three in the morning just to stumble onto that page and be like why have i watched this same video 15 times in a row why am I going to keep watching it? It's just a man with a pocket full of peanut butter. Yeah. Steve, what do you think plead the fifth means? That I've done it? No, it means I will no. not testify. I will not incriminate myself. It's literally the opposite of how you used it just now. I plead the fifth. All right. <laughs> All right. Nutter butter? Nutter butter? I like the flavor. They make me feel like garbage. If I eat like a couple of these, I'm like lying on the couch for the next couple hours. Mm. And that, that has caused me to like kind of move away from them. I really do like the way that these taste, but this is one of those foods that I just eat and that's the rest of my day. I so, also don't like it because of the fucking protein powder that I currently have. It's oh, nutter it's nutter butter flavored. flavored, yeah. But it tastes sad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I've been struggling to get through it. I wish I still had the Chips Ahoy flavor. <laughs> All right. Fuck? I think I want to put these like low right occasion because it's like I st it's, I'm not saying I never want to experience that flavor again, but it's going to take a bit for it to be worth it. You know what I mean? To say it politely, it is definitely something to enjoy in my Yeah, I like them. I'll treat myself to a few, but I'm also not going to argue that Liam should put them higher when they make him feel like shit. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, like the flavor I want to put it higher for, but like. You know, that's a that's a heavy cost. And they're not that good, right? Like they're not like so good that I deal, right? Yeah. It's fine. Um uh, all right. Uh these are the circus cookies. 
Do you guys know Never these? I do. I like these. They've got like a very They're... kind of thick kind of like glaze on them. Not glaze. It's like it's like a frosting. Frosting, but it's hard. Yeah. You know? It's like a coating. And then they've got these little little tiny sprinkles for a tiny little bit of crunch. I like these. These are good. They're very, very sweet. I don't want to They're very them. sweet, yeah. I'm I can probably treat myself to a few of these. I'm not putting them above double stuff Oreos. Um I will not go out of my way for these. If they're in the house, I will eat all of them in one night. Yeah, yep. Uh-huh. It, this is the kind of thing that I see. I see in the... I, I don't know why. In my head, these are, like, really unloved. Maybe they're not. You guys tell me what you think. But, like, I feel like these are, like, really overlooked for, like, more popular stuff. But I see those in the market, and I'm like, I still love you. <laughs> I, will, I will care for you. <laughs> Maybe don't. Anyway. That's so <laughs> <laughs> these are no good for Duncan, though, because the, the glaze is... The icing is too thick. No. Nope, that's a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, oh. Biscoff. I love these. These are awesome. Oh, is that the, the cookie ba the cookie? They do do the cookie butter, yeah. Yeah, 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 really yeah, good. that's right. These are really good. These are really good. I enjoy Biscoff. I enjoy these too. Um, They're kind of up there with... I don't know if these are like at the top of treat myself to a few. Because I probably could just eat these anytime. And they're like the, like the shortbreads, they're really good with milk. These are anytime for me. What do you think, Steve? Where do they go? <laughs> Why is the sewing kit so high on the list? Yeah, we made we made that joke. <laughs> Steve's really mulling it over. I said I every every once on the right occasion. I said. Oh, okay. Hmm. You might have cut out. I don't know if you're still under your desk or whatever. We can probably put no. these. We can treat ourselves to a few of these, maybe. Her. I I could hear Sean's argument of them being a little bit better, but you know, I also haven't had them that often. All right, Chips Ahoy Originals. These are the uh, the crunchy ones, not the chewy ones. Which before we get into anything uh else, the the the. The, these are better than the chewy ones, right? Yes. Um, I... They changed the recipe in these at some point. Really? They are not the same as they used to be, I agree. They're not the same really? as they used to be. Yeah. When did they do that? Because I haven't had them in a while, but... I, I... Um, like a while ago. This would have been probably, like, late 2000s. Oh, something then, like I that. Must, then I must not be familiar with the old kind, then. I, yeah, I think I only know a, the new one. The new ones are decent, but the old ones just stuck to the roof of your mouth in a really nice way. Yes, the texture was really, really good. Hmm. All right, because I'd still probably put these in any time. I like them. Not, good oh yeah, no, still, still like a great staple cookie, but at the same time, just ain't what it used to be. Man, now, now, Are now, now I'm nostalgic for a bygone era. Here. <clears throat> um, I gotta. Do you think someone's hoarded the old Chips Ahoy, like Crystal I Pepsi? Hope, I hope not. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Um, I think that's a good spot for them. They're very, they're very reliable. They're very, they're very, just very good. Um, I'll eat these dry, but they're extra good with milk. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, I just had a like memory all right Go so on. so cool memory unlocked when i got into middle school oh boy okay uh and just based on our schedules you know i was in middle school my brother and sister were still in elementary school and i would get home first because middle school let out a little bit earlier and this might this might have actually been when I got into high school and they were in middle school. I don't know. When I, anyway, when I got into one... No, I was probably in middle school. I would get home first and I would be home by myself. My dad would be at work. My brother and sister would be at school. No one would be there. So I got to just <laughs> do whatever. <laughs> so uh -huh. I would come home and have a snack. And I just remembered I would try and make... <laughs> 
I would try and make these sweet concoctions because I was just kind of left alone in the kitchen. So I would take like a piece of bread and like spread chocolate pudding on it and then like put like four cookies and then I would like build, <laughs> I would build like, we had those like vanilla straw things, you know, the like wafer straws and I would build yeah. like, like little, you know, little structures with them and then I would microwave it. Wow. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that. Because it didn't make it any better for me microwave. <laughs> I was just, I was like experimenting. I was just like, what? I wonder what, what happens if I just... What if it's warmer? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you cook, right? You cook things by making them warmer? Um... <laughs> I don't know. I just, and then I would like I would like put in way too much Nesquik into a thing of chocolate milk and that's and I would eat that. <laughs> and I would do that like every day. And I eventually He's felt really like... sick. So I just stopped. I was like, I probably shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I just remembered that. I had thought about that such a long time. That's so fucking funny, dude. What? I wasn't even toast. I would just get a <laughs> slice of bread put, put oh putting God, on a slice of bread. And put it in my microwave for putting on bread. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so you OD'd on chocolate as a wee lad, so it kills you now? probably killed me back then I just didn't collaborate the fact that I feel like garbage with what I ate I just didn't have that like I couldn't make that connection okay Ooh, that's <laughs> there's some old uh Liam lore wow. for you middle school Liam background story oh, every, every story I hear kills me a little more inside <clears throat> Chorinthu is very concerned all right I'm sorry I just I, I had to get that one out all right chessmen <laughs> Um, these are like, I enjoy chessmen. These are pepperidge farm butter cookies. They're fine. They're fine. I, I, I find them to be a little dry. Like with milk, again, with milk, they're great. But like, this is, this is an odd occasion for me. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to undersell them by putting them here, but like, but that is kind of how I feel. Like if I'm having one of those like drier ones that you need milk with, I'm probably having the. The Royal Downsker, the Biscoff, or the Vanilla Wafers first, huh? The shortbread cookies. I love shortbread. But, like, there's better forms of shortbread. I there's think. just better options. There's just better I'm options. I'm never going to go... Like, on the right occasion, feels like I will never go out of my way for this. Mm -hmm. If it's here, cool. Otherwise, I, eh. I do find the little chess things very cute i think those are super charming they're very cute i like those a lot that is fair. i feel like i feel like they're really good decorative cookies like if you get them and put them on like a little spread it's just like oh that's lovely um what are these brussels cookies i don't know what this is dark chocolate it's another pepperidge farm thing i don't know what's up with this i have no idea they look kind of like the milano cookies what are they called? Brussels. Brussels. Dark chocolate. <laughs> Just baffled. I don't know what to do with this. What are these? Oh, they're the little lace cookies. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know. These I, are, like, I haven't had these enough. These are really... super duper thin. They have, like, a little layer of chocolate between them. They're similar to the Milano, but it's, like, a thinner, crispier cookie. All right. I don't know. They're good. Yeah. We can, we can we can treat ourselves to a few of them, I, I guess. Sure. Maybe right occasion. Sure, I don't know. Like, you know, I feel like without having had them, I don't want to rank them like too highly over beloved things. Yeah, sure. All right. So these are M and M cookies. Um. And treat myself to a few. Uh. Yeah. I don't. I'm not crazy about the M and Ms. Because again, I don't super love Hershey's chocolate, but I do. I do like these. M&M's aren't Hershey's, for one, but... Aren't they? Um, no, they're Mars. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, you are. You're right. Hershey's does make other coated can candy-coated chocolate drops, but it's not M&M's. Um, huh. I always thought M&M's They're fine. Okay. I like... 
I'm not a big chocolate chip fan, so often when I want uh, a traditional chocolate chip cookie, I will just sub M&M's instead mm. because I like it better. All right. I think these can probably go like top a treat myself to a few, maybe. Sure. Maybe any time, but like pretty all right. What do you think, Steve? Um, The fucking chip support or the... The, M &M the cookies? M &M cookies, yeah. Treat myself to a few. I'm fine with that, yeah. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. You doing okay over there, man? You hanging in there? I am here. All right. He's here. He is He's existing. Riding. All right. That's just like my opinion, man. That's just like my opinion, man. Black and white cookies. Indifferent. Indifferent. They're like not my jam, but I know a lot of people really, really like them, so I'm glad that they exist. I don't care for them. More for you. Yeah. I think Adam really likes these, and I think Anna really likes them as well. I, I find, because black and white cookies are like, they're not, I'm not going to say they're bad, but they're like really big, and it's like, how are you going to have a cookie that's that big, and you go, oh, that's a lot to get through, as opposed to, heck yeah, big cookie, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. That's kind of where I'm at with them. That's kind of where I'm at with them. And there have been times where I see them in a store and I go, heck yeah, big cookie. And then I'm like, hmm. Mm, I that's... will never go out of my way for them. Yeah. Um, Jordan Thu says they're owned by the other massive American candy brand, referring to M&M's being Mars. So it's not a terrible mistake to make. Like, if you don't know who made a chocolate thing and it's from the U.S., you can guess either Mars or Hershey and be right 50% of the time. Yeah. Correct. Lena says, leave them sugars on the table. I see that heathen icing approaching. <laughs> and Lena says, black and white cookies are the best. <clears throat> um, I, so these are the, these are the very soft, um, kind of almost floppy sugar cookies with the big thick icing and the sprinkles that you see at like ShopRite or wherever else you're getting cookies. Table. Sean wants to leave on the table. Cannon. Launch them out of a cannon. I will create a new tier. Chris says F tier. Lena says heathen icing. What do you think, Steve? About the fudge stripes? No, about the big soft sugar cookies. These ones. Oh, on the bottom? Yeah. Uh, I like them. I like them too. I don't... On the right occasion, which are usually holidays. St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, and Easter. I would put these above Nutter Butters. I would not, but I it is a group <laughs> tier list. <clears throat> what do you think, Steve? I'm cool with that. We can put them below Nutter Butters for Sean, since he wants to put them on the table. Oh, no, yeah, table. definitely below Nutter Butters. Okay. Yeah, I think this is about right. This is fine. Why all this Loft House cookie hate? Is that what they're called? Are they Loft House cookies? I like them. I, 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 I disagree with the people who are screaming at us to throw them out the window or out of a cannon or whatever. But I but I don't like love them so much that like I am gonna like fight. It's fine. That they're, they're 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 all right. Lane is Lane is making typos in all caps. Leave on the, the table. All right. Uh, next up is I think this is biscotti. Um, I don't like biscotti. That's, I'm leaving that on the biscotti. table. I don't, it's, it's, it's hard and crunchy, which is like normally a texture that I really like, but it's like, this is like crouton texture for a cookie. Yeah. Cause you're not supposed to eat it dry. You're supposed to dip it you typically in coffee. Well, I don't like coffee either. He have you dipped them in milk coffee. before? Me, All right. I'm leaving it on the table. Where do you guys want to put it? Uh, right it's a right occasion cookie. You don't have a few of them. You have Steve. You keep cutting out at the end of your sentences. You fucking yeah yeah. yeah. Where um where are you? Can you hear me now? Jeez, yeah, well, yeah, I sure sure can. Uh, on the right occasion, not treat myself to a few because you only ever have one. If I'm going to say where it goes, below Chessman, above Fig Newton. What do you think, Sean? Uh, I can agree with that. All right. Yeah, I can agree with That's that. That's fine. I'm not going to fight to put it in left on the table, but like, I'm probably not going to have it. It's like not sweet enough for a cookie. It's like... 
It can be. It's not just like a dry ass fucking nut cookie. <laughs> I mean... You can have cranberry, you can have pistachios in it. It can be. There's a lot of variety of biscotti. Yeah, I know. It's... I know. I just don't like eating new foods. All right. Um. Good old fashioned chocolate chip cookie. I'll eat these anytime. I think very maybe we're 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 getting close to full sleeve night. I, they might be like normal. They might be a little little pedestrian, but why are you saying so full good. sleeve night? You don't eat cookies at night. I know, but I no you you get you get opted out of this one, bud. No, it's a, no. no, no. It's a turn of phrase. I like listen. No. Some nights <laughs> some nights are worth staying up after eating. I cookies. haven't seen it. I know, I know, because I'm trying to be uh -huh. better about taking care of myself and my sleep as an uh -huh. adult. But like when I was a kid, yeah, absolutely. Uh. Um, I love chocolate chip cookies, and so especially if we're talking about like baked at home. Ooh, the the best kinds is when they're like still crispy enough that they don't fall apart, but when you break them in half, they like goo a little in the middle. So there's enough crispness to like absorb the milk, right? Because if it's too gooey, it just kind of like sits in the milk, right? Or maybe it like falls apart. The best cookie is when you got integrity, but still, still some soft gooeyness in the middle. Oh boy, we're losing these guys. I'm, we're losing these guys. I'm all right with them. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan, honestly. For me, they are they are a red occasion kind of cookie, uh, mm. but they're just like too sweet for me. Treat myself to a few. All right, I can I can agree to put them here. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We can compromise with that. <laughs> the only way I would fucking the only time I've hoard myself out for chocolate chip cookies is when my Nana made them and she doesn't do that anymore, but that's because she put coarse sea salt on top of them. Ooh. I could see that being really good. She did it some kind of Italian way, but I forget how. She never wrote it down. Mm. Jorothy says, I will eat a whole sheet of chocolate chip cookies in a day and have no regrets. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe some regrets. I can think of a couple. Maybe some regrets. Maybe some regrets, but like... <laughs> All right, Snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles for me are full sleeve night above mint Oreos. I think these are my I'm favorite the right kind of occasion cookie. for me. Ooh, I love them so much. <clears throat> I these are right occasion for me. Oh. <laughs> okay. They're just too cinnamony. I love cinnamon they're, sugar. They're fine. These so are good. these are again a little too sweet for my tastes. Chorinthu says, I don't have a sweet tooth. All of my teeth are sweet. I'm with you, Chorinthu. I like that energy. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I love these so much. I love <laughs> I love Snickerdoodles so much. So I think one of the reasons I really love cinnamon sugar things, like churros and Snickerdoodles, and I think it's because cinnamon sugar scent is one of the things that I smell really well. Uh. So I just super enjoy them because normally I barely smell anything. All right, I can put them here. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Is this acceptable? Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> fortune cookies. Fortune cookies. I like fortune cookies, honestly. I will eat them. I, I, when I was younger, I like them now. No, I'm going to say left on the table because you always see about four or five of these left over. I like I'll them too. I'll eat four or five of them. I'll eat your fortunes too. It's fine. <laughs> just don't even pull it out. You just <laughs> I'll accept whatever kind of luck comes with this. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like them. I do. I don't dislike them, but I don't love them either. I would probably put them maybe above the, the loft house cookies and the black and white cookies, but like we can, I don't know. Steve says left on the table and <sighs> like their right occasion is fine. Yeah, I think right, right occasion. Right, right occasion is fine. The right occasion the right is we've occasion, ordered, Chinese like we ordered Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Jorinthy says I learned to make pumpkin snickerdoodles pretty much exclusively because of my girlfriend's favorites. Well, that's very sweet of you. 
They're awesome cookies, but I tend not to think of them first. I don't think I've had pumpkin snickerdoodles, but I'd like to try that. That sounds good. Pumpkin spice is not nice. I I actually kind of like pumpkin spice flavor. Even. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. Um, it depends. I don't like I don't like coffee. I'll have it like pumpkin spice like cupcakes or muffins. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. Um, speaking of spice, here's some gingerbread. Gingerbread cookies. I, I don't, don't like gingerbread. Really? Treat myself to a few. Uh, store bought sucks. Homemade is awesome. Gingerbread falls under the same category as Snickerdoodle for me. It's too cinnamony, and ginger is sometimes a little too spicy. Ginger can be a little spicy. I've definitely had some gingerbread cookies that's like, wow, that's not what I thought that would taste like. Now, let me clarify. I love spicy food. Give me too much ginger. Give me too much ginger every day. Just Ugh. ginger. Like, ginger the root is fine. I don't mind, like, you know, g ginger on the side of my sushi. I'll eat a fucking mm. lot of that. Mm -hmm. Sugar ginger is fucking sweet. I love that fucking stuff. But gin but ginger, like the spice, it's just not pleasant to me. Mm. Don't get me wrong, it's a hallmark of Christmas smells, and I'll always associate it with Christmas, but the flavor is just horrendous to me. Hmm. So maybe maybe we can put these at the top of the on the right occasion, and that occasion is Christmas. Mm, sure. Fine. I like them. I like them. But if it's Christmas, we can also just make chocolate chip cookies or snickerdoodles. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> next, <laughs> next up are macarons. Um, or these macaroons. I don't remember which is which. These are the colorful little cheeseburger looking ones. Again, not a fan. I've never had um, these. No, I've had them like I'll once. Have, I'll have like one or two before I just get sick of them. I these are treat myself to a few. I like these. Um, they're nice when they're done uh, fresh. Anna's work sells them, so I get them fresh sometimes. Mm -hmm. They're good. Anna Anna has told me a couple of times that I would really like these, but I don't think you I would. Yeah, I don't think I really have them. I, I might have to try them. I think I might have had them like once or twice, but I don't really remember what they're like. All right. So Steve, you say on the right occasion. Sean, you say treat treat to a few. Yeah. All right, we can put them down here. I think. Usually you only have a couple of these anyway. Do these go good with milk? What the heck is the texture of these? Are they soft? They're very, they're, they're, it's a light crispy, uh, outside that, um, crushes pretty easily, but the texture is pleasant. Hmm. The interior is usually like a jelly. Okay. Interesting. All right. Next up are these like crackly brown cookies. Are they chocolate? I've seen these. I don't, I can't think of what these would taste like. Um, I've had these like once or twice. These are very these, rich. These are, these, these are the kind of cookies that people make on Christmas. And you know what? People have like one or two of them. Then they'll hand out the rest for still never get eaten. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Where you have, you have one and you're like, I think I'll have the other cookies. Do you think they get left on the table? Yeah. I think that probably happens. I think they're right occasion, but yeah, fair, fine. I, th I think I think on the right occasion, you have a smorgasbord and you have one of these and then you go, <laughs> let's go with the other ones. <coughs> Next up is uh, what looks like red velvet with the um, with the white chocolate chip uh, chip things. And I got to say, I'm a huge fan of like red velvet cake and cupcakes and stuff like that. And these cookies uh -huh. don't really do it for me. Yeah, they're kind of bad. They're a right occasion, maybe, but probably leave them on the right table. Occasion. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'd maybe put them, like, I like them better than biscotti. Maybe, like, here. Like, they're not bad, but they just, th oh, like, for, for being, like, br bright red me. with white chips, they don't taste as strongly like red velvet as you would think. All right, guys, we might have some snow coming our way tonight. Wait, really? Yeah, my friend is uh, he, my friend's a truck driver. He just went through Ohio into Pennsylvania, and the snowstorm's been following him ever since. Ooh, it says nine o'clock to ten p.m. We're getting a little bit. Oh. All right, I guess we'll see. Wow, wouldn't it be something if we had another snow day in March? Oh, 
well, actually, we get one more, so sure. I no, aren't we out? Don't we get three. Yeah, we've only used two. I thought. I thought we did all three. Oh, well, maybe we did all do all three. I don't know. I uh, anyway, <clears throat> we'll have to see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, I think those get probably left on the table. Um, and these these are like they're still cookie cookies. They're still like this style of cookie, which I really like. But yeah. They, they look like they should be so much more, like, distinct and flavorful than they are, I think. Mm. All right, next up are these kind of puffy, puffy, lumpy ones. Are these macarons? Oh, these might oh, be. like coconut cookies. The coconut ones, yeah. I don't love these. Not a fan. I don't love these. No, not really. I'll probably leave this on the table. They're yeah. fine. All right. That was easy. Probably leave those on the table. I don't, like, all, coconut's fine. I usually don't seek it out. If it's there, I'm not going to complain, but it's not what I look for, really. You know. All right. Next up is oatmeal cookies with raisins. And Love oatmeal cookies with raisins. Yeah, incredible. These are all time. Full sleeve. Full sleeve. I, so, like, I like oatmeal cookies. I don't like raisins. If these You're were chocolate wrong. chips, I'd be all about them. I'm I'm a big raisin enjoyer. These are incredible. Also a big raisin enjoyer. See, this is why you and I like each other. <laughs> anyway, all right, we can raisin stick together. Man, I did not expect them to get that high a rating. I mean, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll like eat these. I'll be like, I can deal with some raisins and have these, you know. But like for me, I put them more on like on the right occasion. But you guys feel very strongly, so I'll, I'll go with your lead. I'll, I, we can put those in full sleeve night, especially yeah. when they're warm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't think I've ever had these warm. Oh, wait. You know what makes it even better when they got that little cream drizzle on them? Yeah, you can top yeah. them too. They're okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Peanut butter cookies. Yeah, that's a staple in my kitchen. I like to cook. I like to make. Yeah. Time. Peanut butter cookies are good. They're a little heavy sometimes. Yeah, it depends on the peanut butter you use. Uh, last yeah. time I made them, I mixed uh, chunky and smooth together because that was like. Everything that I had to make a full cup. That's all right. you need is a cup of egg and some uh, some sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm I'd probably treat myself to a few, and I'd probably put them around the same spot as like the like chocolate chip and the the M and M cookies. Sure, I think. yeah, that's fair. Um, I like them, and they go really well with milk because they're peanut butter. Um, but I do think that if I have like more than like three, my stomach goes, oh, buddy. That's a lot. <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah. 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 And uh, last, last but not least, we've got um, white chocolate chip cookies. Uh, that's. Is, are you sure that's not macadamia? Oh, these might be the macadamia and white chocolate. Yeah, that's a that's a common combo. That's probably in what which case are. full sleeve. <laughs> full sleeve to any time. Yeah, these are pretty darn good. I'll put these up here. I'll put these up here. I think those are pretty darn good. <clears throat> um, it's been a while since I've had like a full on macadamia nut, but they are really good. Now I crave that because that, th that's a really good crunch texture. Macadamia yeah, nuts. Yeah, it is. That's yeah, really yeah. good. I like that. Macadamia nuts are pricey, but they're really good. Yeah. Yeah. I always see them and I'm like, ooh, I want that. And then it's like, I look at the price and I go, ooh, maybe next time. Ooh, ooh maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next not time. this never time. Yeah. I've never come. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Maybe someday. Cashews are really expensive too, but cashews are really good as well. Yeah, cashews they are. are really expensive, but I can easily eat a whole fucking bag of that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Costco Get one of those big Costco bins. Just yeah. <sighs> Costco size planter cashews. That would be that would yep. be what my grandma would always get when she lived in her house uh, over on Stonewall and Sea Caucus, mm -hmm. giving away too much info. Anyway, <laughs> um, I mean, it's not no, like she, she lives there anymore. No, she don't live there anymore. But she would always go to the Sam's Club up in North Jersey, and she would always get like these big fucking planter jars full of just cashews. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. They were the ha they were the halved cashews too. Don't know why that's important. Why I like that's full a cashews. Memory. I like full cashews. I'm okay with the halves though; they're good. Yeah, they're not bad. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna bash them. But I like full cashews. There's a crunch to them that you don't get with the uh, with the halves. It's a fullness. I don't know. 
It's pretty sure. good. Anyway, I think we got a tier list of cookies. So it looks like the full sleeve night. We're looking at mint Oreos, uh, white chocolate macadamia nuts, and uh, oatmeal raisin, which is an interesting spread of cookies. <laughs> I don't want all of those together, but they are good. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, oh man, man, I want some mint Oreos and some whole milk. Oh, that sounds so good. Um, we got the uh, anytime oh, really? we got the no, I won't sleep. I it's eight thirty. You should enjoy some right now. No, I wish, I wish. Do it. Um, you uh, have you have some Thin Mints in the kitchen right now. I do have some Girl Scout cookies in there and one less coconut drizzle. Did you have one? I'm, I might have taken one. All right. Once I saw the bag was open, I said, ha, ha. You can just ask. I will probably say yes. No. All right. Um, anytime we've yeah, got- Yeah, do it, uh, you coward. We've got, <laughs> we've got uh, Milano's, Chips Ahoy's, and uh, Royal Dansk's. I think all of these go really well with milk. Um, uh, treat myself to a few. I didn't expect the classic chocolate chip to end up this low, but what are you going to do? We've got the um, life often shows itself in disappointments. M and M's, peanut butters, vanilla wafers, biscoffs, my beloved Snickerdoodles, my beloved double stuff Oreos. How are you here? It's fine. Uh, the circus cookies, the uh, Italian wafer cookies, the macaroons, macaroons. Um, uh, we've got the gingerbreads on the right occasions. Brussels, Chessman, uh, red velvet, biscotti, fig Newtons, golden Oreos. Fortune cookies, Nutter Butters, soft loft, aloft cookies, black and white cookies on the right occasions, you know, find the right time for these and they'll do you good. And then left on the table or whatever the heck these are called in the macaronis, the macaronis, macaronos, the Macaron other one. Macaron. Yeah. William? I, I, I'm just, 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 just melting. Yeah, just, mac, mac, mac and cheese is the mac and mac, the moon cakes. The bleh, keep that up. You could be a representative for a hospital somewhere. Oh no! All right. Um. Well, that being said, I think we accomplished everything we set out to do this evening. And normally we end around nine, but um, I. I don't think we're going to start up another thing and do it for like 20 minutes. So I think we're probably okay. going to, I think we're probably going to wrap, but Hey, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed our goofy back and forth opinions about some of this stuff. Uh, chat was great today. You guys were very vocal and I always appreciate that helping keep <laughs> things rolling. I appreciate uh, Sean and Steve, despite being, you know, a little tired and a little under the weather, you know, coming and having a good time. I, I really look missed streaming. I was sick this week and I had family stuff the week before. And so, you know, I just, you know, I, 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 I missed it. And I'm glad that we were able to get back, even if we're not, quite to fire emblem yet hopefully next week we can pick that up um i agree cool. yeah thanks to chorinthu for showing right. up for a first time viewer right at the beginning of the stream and sticking with us all the way through i super appreciate yeah. that and Hell for being yeah. just like the chillest like chatter today i don't have an award for you but i just want to say thanks that's great um normally we, we don't do new, this stuff normally we, we play love new people we, we do. like torturing them we enjoy <laughs> subjecting them to our goofiness to oh our goofiness. No, our normal fare, we play Fire Emblem and do voice acting, or we do Pokemon Nuzlocks, and we do You know who stuff else like really enjoys subjecting people to their goofiness? Who's that now? The Shadow Senate. According oh, to this oh, theory, right. well, there is a clandestine group <laughs> with the Senate, known as the Shadow Senate, composed raid of powerful politicians, Wabalon. lobbyists, and business right. magnates. The Shadow One Senate operates behind raid, closed raid, raid, doors, Wabalan. manipulating legislation. Thanks, everybody, for being here, policy, for hanging out, for having interest. a good night. Three, the, the two, one. Good night. Bye. Bye.